Lockdown land a million. Um, we still haven't missed a beat. Some of our games have been less successful than others, some have been more successful. We decided to go with something we know works rather than stream another couple of hours of banging our head on ports and forwarding and horror. So we're gonna carry on with our Terraria hard no not hard mode, Terraria expert playthrough. Our goal is mostly here and health and in my case clearing out my inventory of just massive amounts of crap. So we have been sort of trying to work out like what we can do to progress because this hard mode it's not messing around it's really not very easy like, we can't just over gear and kill the boss we're at the point where there is no more gear for us that's better than what we've got so we are slightly struggling to progress further again if you're better than i am at the game i'll screw you if you're better than i am at the game and you've got a great idea let me know i am um, always open to great ideas um, the problem with this is as uh as Mia, as an endgame player, keeps realising, um, a lot of people go, oh, you just need this item, and you go, that item isn't available to us. Oh, because last time I played it, yeah, because I was much further on, then it was really easy, and that happens a lot. Because um, you forget what you need to progress into something. Um, where did we keep the nice graves? I, I put two nice gravestones near the um the beehive so we can have a, a nice graveyard i think it's in the junk box i i seen this so there i put two nice ones over by the I mean, junk junk's where we put in all the others i'll see if they're still there did anybody fetch all the nice ones that we left at the queen Oh, you did, you did, you already get them? I mean, I left them not, I was just going to build it there for, you know, for the sake of anywhere more or less sensible. One thing I do like about Terraria is you can play it at any sort of, um, not level, like, um, what's the word? Pace. Yeah, there's no hurry to progress. Yeah, I mean, I, I play a lot But it is games. nice too. <laughs> yeah. I mean, while well, you're making dungeon defenders, you're kind of, you're not in that situation. You feel that playing at a slow pace is just simply wasting loads of time. Yes. Whereas, well, it does feel nice when you sort of, um, the levels where you're doing really, really well and you just can sort of sit there and enjoy it rather than going, shit, 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 build more things, quick! The, the well, problem with obviously dungeon defense there is that a lot of the time when you're sitting and going, wow, this is easy, it's completely useless. So it's not progression. Whereas here we've got lots of stuff that's pretty easy to do, but should be progression. Like here, I've just I've just improved our route into the um, Queen Bee, for instance. Oh, cool. That nice idea. Um, and there's yeah. two there's two Sometimes. nice statues here, so that's. Uh... Oh, that's helpful. So I'll put a torch right where you don't want it. Well, we've been looking up how the uh, the healing mechanics work. It's just so massively more complicated than it needs to be. That's programming. No, like they didn't. No, they made it. They made it way too hard, way too complicated, and I don't really know why. Well, like my health right now isn't regenerating, but it's going down very slowly. So I guess I can it. Still not going up, still going down, still going down. Old ground poison for 17 seconds. Yeah, man, that's the issue on, the, on that particular boss. If you get poison, you might be really struggling to uh, even begin to get your health back. Yeah. There we go. So I now, mean, there's lots of lads as well, isn't there? Now my health's going up by about one per second. Now maybe three per second. Tick, 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 tick. Four or five per second, maybe. Four or five per second health. Now even faster, maybe five per second, but obviously I've had to stand still for quite a long time. Now I've been hit, now it's... 
Oh, this is like an accumulative acceleration. Yes. Which wears off. Oh dear. King Slime again. Oh, I've got three fairies. Um, Don't shoot I? them. I, 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 no, I, had I'm not a, trying... I had a party of fairies and I shot them and then they all threw away. And I'm like, I'm sorry, fairies. So two blue and a pink. So I wonder what that means. I, are you on the surface? Yeah. Yeah, that's what I mean. I had that fairy party going on, but I accidentally shot one and then it didn't leave. And leave. I'm scarpered. Yeah. I was like, oh, bugger. Okay. I'm trying to follow them, but I'm not fast enough. Come on. Come on. Come on. Bring the speed! Oh right, so they actually spawn around a special campfire. It's it's a log on the ground. We should mark it so we don't destroy it. Yeah, there's a bunch of them. I've broken a few, didn't know. Yeah, the game is a little bit too much secret knowledge sometimes, I feel. Oh cool, a strong staff of regrowth. So, slimes are falling right now. Back in a sack. Um, it's Mia, how are you doing the, the chat? I'm being dumb here. Say again? What character do you press to type into chat? You just enter. Enter. Ah. Come on, Jungle Spike, that's not fair. I had it with Monish a kitten. <laughs> yes, I did drop a meter of a threaded rebar, but that wasn't to hit the cat with. <laughs> I promise. <laughs> did we want to kill King Slime at any particular point? I assume everybody now has a horseshoe so they can fall without damage. Oh, yes, I do. Yeah, thank you. <clears throat> anybody not? I assume everyone does that. Speeding up the drop into the air. Uh, creepy thing. Did, oh, did, cream is there, is there any point in killing this? Yeah, is there anything we need of him? Or is it just a. Uh, Whatever. Random drop, I guess. Well, yeah, but it's not right. He only drops, like, you know, specific loot tables. Oh, right. I don't think mobs have a random drop table, do they? They don't have, like, a um, massive pool of items to drop from. They just drop their, their item. Actually, I can tell. Why am I even asking you? Open best tree. Type in slime. King slime drops a treasure bag and a trophy. Oh, oh, he's only got ten percent chance for trophy. I don't know what that does though. Is that literally just a trophy? No, there's no. It's not the equivalent to a. Um, what should we call it? Is it? Banner. Oh, bugger. <laughs> I'm just going to grab a drink. Be right back. It's interesting how much grief I get in Fortress Craft for the occasional thing not being in the handbook. And then this game goes, go read the wiki page, which then covers every console version, the you know, 3DS version, covers so many, so many different versions. And, uh, how how they get away with it so much. Armored feral claws, bomb, then honey dispenser. Use the special. 
Oh, I wonder how the stream is playing properly this time. We're still getting massive production. It's weird, like, when I was streaming it, I just kept getting the bottom half of the stream just turning into weird because of corruption. I don't know what it was. It's a special, it's an X and A game using Direct Draw 9. And there's no speed acceleration, there's no anything. I'm not using the direct surface, I'm using the video capture. What I should think C should very much be what Bob's captured. You're right, don't know. Definitely need way more chests now. I'll get on that. More chests, where's that? Just in the base so that we can sort things better. Or, or just. Now, here we out here. Less crap. Uh, yeah, Mac, we kind of have the option, unfortunately, um, of echoing or the noise cancellation being a bit too aggressive. Uh. Have you tried the crisp but not the... Uh, so you've got what a Discord considers noise cancellation, but have you also got, have you also tried enabling just the crisp thing? Just in a different menu. <laughs> My stream readout is in a tiny little three and a half minute screen. I couldn't see it. I also haven't had a single chat message. I'm wondering if the chat's broken. Okay, how's this? Um, well, you do a long sentence and I will interrupt you. Mary had a little lamb whose face was white as snow. That's all right. That's and everywhere that Mary went, the lamb was sure to. I feel bad talking over you, though. <laughs> yeah, there's a little bit, but that that seems good. We'll see whether or not it, it kills your voice. The Discord default um, um, noise cancellation is really, really, really basic, but the new crisp one is extremely good. Well, that was Chris. Why have you set your microphone to play out of your speakers anyway? I assume that's half of the problem, is it not? Oh, it's not that my speakers are even very loud. No, no, you told your computer to play whatever it hears out of the microphone out of your speakers, I'm assuming. No, no she's not hearing herself, she's hearing us. I, I mean, the answer there is microphones are annoying because they pick up exactly what you don't want and they don't pick up what you do want. Yeah, but she shouldn't hear herself on the no, Discord. No, she, she's not hearing herself, she's hearing us. That was my voice you're hearing. Them. And I'm, I'm touched you think yeah, we sound I'm, I'm hearing... I'm hearing... Esmia. Really? Yes. I'm hearing Esmia echoing Esmia's voice, not Esmia echoing something I've said. I have a like, I, can, I, can, I can hear myself echoing a little bit, you're right. That's not the issue. It's the fact that Esmia is echoing her own words as well. No, I haven't echoed. I'm not even slightly joking. Look, 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 I'm not even being here. 
I, I'm, I'm looking specifically for hearts. Our, our problem primarily is the... Oh! Does that help? Yeah, sorry, was, I had my speakers on because I was listening to music. I do apologise. Oh, well, let's try this. My speaker has a very oh, much better. subtle, yeah. subtle light on it. Show me it's on. Um, okay, dumb question number four. How do you collect backgrounds? I've, I seem to have forgotten how to do it. Ah, uh, right. That explains that then. So the health regen in this game is an extremely uh, unnecessary complicated algorithm, but a large, large part of it is how much health you've got. So somebody with 500 health will regen health at five times the speed of somebody with 100 health. Um, it's not like your health divided by 400 is the, is the base rate. Should I save the first heart for a heart lantern, or should I just eat it? Um, I have 200 health. Is that the maximum for red hearts? I forget. 500 is the max. Oh, okay. No, I mean, what's the maximum before you start using life? Uh, before you start having to use life fruit, not life crystals. Oh! Because you switched over, didn't you? I forgot about Or has that, that changed? No, you're change? probably right. I forgot. I don't know. Is the easy answer? Okay. I like when um, Esmia cheats. She sounds she like she's cheating on it. She just has another monitor to look page on it. Uh -huh. I don't believe her eyes. So Esmia, yeah, I've, I've, what's, I've the got maximum, that. what's the maximum health you can get to before having to use the generation oh. potions your life fruit? Save that again? What's the maximum health you can get to using hearts? Just the regular red hearts? Yeah. Or See, she's pausing, she's googling, she's googling. <laughs> yes, it's, it's pretty oh, I've, done that, I've done that in interviews before. You know, they say, uh, what, what about blah, blah, you go, hmm, well, hmm, let's think about that. Very quietly, type and go, well, you see, that was invented in 1931, in fact, by, uh, yeah, I, I, as a funny thing, it might be 400. Do you know what your health is right now? I can't see it on the screen. 300. 300. Well, I mean, I cheated heart, a little bit. It? No, you're 320. You're 320. No, I've got 320. So, more than 320. Right. I must admit, I did cheat a little bit. Grind away. No, no, I just went to another game and grabbed four hearts and I think... Well, that's what I mean. Oh, another heart. But, okay. It's like, that's not really cheating, just saving some time. It's not really saving time, it's just spending time off screen. Yeah. Well, I was dying far too much, so... He <laughs> says the first thing he does is die. Remember, anyway. everyone should have the imp staff or equivalent, and always remember to summon your pet. What is the actual... I mean, mine says eight summon damage. Is that damage when you use it to summon something? Or no, is that the damage that the... it does? Minus twenty. Oh, every time it sort of. Oh, okay. I could do the better one then. I've only got a baby slime. There's imp staffs are trivial to get. I mean, it's literally, literally, it's just hellstone and nothing else. Okay. Um, do we want... I guess we do want more meteorite stuff though, don't we? Uh, do you make armor? I forget what we use it for now. Um, I'm wearing meteorite armor because it um, makes the, the space gun free. Oh, cool. That's in no mana cost. <laughs> no mana, yeah, I can shoot forever. It gives a whole 21% increased magic damage, which is... Fucking That's good. Well, it's oh, not. Okay. My, my space gun one, one does 22 magic damage, so 20% of 22 is, what, the fifth four. Point four. Like four. Four point four. Oh, four point four. Yeah, yeah. But yeah, yeah. what I mean is, it's not like whoa, my damage is now crazy. It's a mild at best boost. <laughs> do, do we instantly? Do we have any health stone? Uh, 
I've got ten bars. That's it. We need to. We we spent it all. Bars. Oh, okay, fine. Fine. Um. Oh, I see. It's a, it's an ore. Okay. Yes. So. Sorry. I'll just repeat my question again. You really want more meteorite because I am currently standing by two shadow orbs. It does mean there's quite a large chance the boss will. Ooh, so it's going. So shall we do some more meteorites and just ignore the boss? We want to have a go at the boss. What does Midgerite give us again? It was uh, armor, wasn't it? Magic armor, laser gun, a bunch of other uh, we, now If I remember correctly, last time we had two bloody great big meteorites. Was that right? We had one massive meteorite this playthrough, and it was huge. And we need a special kind of pick to get it, or do we not? Nah, no. Meteorite comes before Hellstone, technically. Okay. So you're telling me as me, so you're telling me I can blow up two of these, and it's perfectly fine. I could be wrong. Yep, there you go. Oh, I just got a shadow orb. All right. Mm. Oh, a light pad. Yeah, that's the one I've already got, so I don't want. Well, I've got another one. I have two shadow orbs. Bidding starts at uh, 10,000 gold. Uh, I will, I, they don't stack on me, but I'll bring them back. Did anybody get a word in that? Not a word. That was all noise. That, I swear, that's all I got there was noise cancellation. All I happened to me. a lot before it So, honestly, in Discord, go into the, the call, go into the voice and video, turn off um, noise cancellation. Turn off automatic game control. Just sod it. The crisp stuff does seem to be good, but I, I couldn't hear anything. You, you weren't even. There weren't even words. They were just. Burp, 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 burp. I mean, that's the thing that's really been hammered home. Is oh, you know, so much technology has moved on a long way, and then for some reason, voice chat stuff hasn't. And I don't know why. So, uh, is, there, what, is there a snow pylon that we need to do as well? Yes, yes there is. Do we have those people? Um, the... See, she's looking it up. See, she's going to sound knowledgeable, but she's just looking it up. We're on uh, We can throw the party girl and the fox girl over there. What? And they'll be perfectly happy. What? Why? That seems. Is it just because they're skimpily clad? And you just want to see them all cold, and you're like, oh, are you cold? They, love? they're sell, happy out there. Sell them blankets. I guess so. I, I, I heartily vote we put the skimpily clad women in the cold. Do I now make more sense? Yes! What did you do? Uh, turned off the auto knobs. Yes, that sounds much better. A are you on speakers or headphones? Headphones. Is it a boom microphone or is it a desk mic? Like, is, it atta is your microphone physically attached to the headphone speakers? Yes. Yeah, so those are, if, if you have it really loud, if I break down the microphone, down the boom, that messes with the error cancellation. Yes. We'll see if you become. So, what were you saying? <laughs> or have you 
forgotten. Forgotten about what? He was saying something, but we couldn't understand it. I was just uh, assuming that I had the same problem, but now that I have fixed it. Uh, yeah. One thing there is that Skype uh, often asks what the quality is like. But if you give five stars, it doesn't ask what was the issue. But if you give four stars, it asks what the issue is. That easily turns it training you to give a good uh, grade. Do not answer any questions. I had to let a zebra ask me if I'd, map, if I'd done the whole map. I mean, we, we, I've maybe mapped... What the hell is that in my background? You go to the map and zoom out, what do you see? Is it like a dungeon or a hallway or...? I have kind oh, of a cave underground picture different from that. Ah! I'm not sure how that's... Oh, I guess so we all see something different. What well, it's indicating of what biome you're in. Right. But, I mean, realistically, what is it? Like, I'm looking on my top. I've got a little three inch screen that mirrors what I'm doing. I'm trying to work out what it is. There's like a skeleton over on the right and a torch over on the left, but it's it's extremely low resolution. For, I mean, I'm running on a 32 inch screen here, so it's not, it's not really very readable. It's a moving character going deeper into the uh, cave with the torch. Right, That's I, how it reads to me. I'd agree with you, but I've just fell into another biome, so I can't really see anymore. Go back. There's no character. That's just a dust. Oh, scum! We're gonna. I can't tell. It's so <laughs> Oh, bugger. I will put the shadow orbs somewhere over here within the desert jungle sky island. I'll put the shadow orbs in the chest next to the safe. I'm gonna play in hell for a minute. I need Hellstone, might as well get some. Yes. Yeah. Oh, cool. Shame we have no idea where, but I'm sure we'll find it. But I mean, the space gun, um, it's the, as far as I'm aware, that's one of the better things we can get access to for long range mannering, uh, long range uh, magic damage at this point. And it wasn't doing bugger all to the, uh, the boss. I mean, it does a whole 22 damage, and she had 20,000 health, so I easily hit her a thousand times. Ooh. And it fires at 2 per second? So 500 seconds. Bare minimum. Um, a, a DPS meter would be awfully handy as well, but I don't think we have any yet. No. Ah! Uh, I'll have to look. I've got a GPS, but not a DPS. I know that the merchant had it the other day. And I thought I bought a bunch.
Yeah, that's five gold for those who are feeling rich. Uh, remind me, DJ. Yo. This um, hellstone, when you collect it, it produces... The hellstone? Yeah, oh, hellstone, yeah, it produces a little bit of lava, yeah. Although there is a thing you can craft to make that not happen. Oh no, no, it's still can't, no, it's still correct, but you can ignore the hellstone, because the hellstone also hurts you by standing up. Or touching it. Or looking at it too hard. Or eating it. Or licking it. Thank you. Oh, good tip, uh, H. Is drinking a health potion? Yeah. Emergency um, health buff, apparently. Let's throw back to what I'm currently doing, which is just to quickly select it in the hot bar. <laughs> yeah. I'm like, oh, that's cool, I didn't know that was a thing. Um, Ah, is Bud Rose already on the case with the snow houses? I'm investigating. And I also need to get some snow and ice blocks. Ah, uh, it's going alright, thank you, Angela. As I said, thank you for your uh, support in that nice guy's stream. Um, but he played uh, No Man's quite a lot today, and he, he said he really enjoyed it. I, I did make a, a joke, I just said to him, look, you don't need to play this much, don't you don't feel like a lot of years though, I really like it. Oh, oh thank you. you know, I, well, thank you, tell your friends. Usually now people say, I am already telling my friends, and I'm like, get more friends. Sadly, um, as always seems to be my lot in life, he's not a guy with like 20,000 followers. He's a guy who was getting a fairly small amount of um, views. That would have, that'd be nice. Someone who really, really, really liked it. Basically, as I did with Fortress Craft. I have another game that we are basically done on, but it's basically it's ready to, to release it. Um, but we don't want to release it without some um, stream support. It's just no point. So we need to find someone who really, really, really likes it. Uh, no, uh, it's called Tactics Forever. It's a game that I have been developing for an extremely long time, and I know it's good. There's no... Oh, this, uh, this isn't really, really, really good game. But we know for a fact we don't have it supported, we don't have it promoted. It will just die. No one will know it exists. That's the curse of modern games. So, I have a pink fairy. It seems to be just circling me, so not telling me... Fairies go to nearby treasures. If they're circling me, they... They don't, yeah, but you need to get nearer to the tr a treasure. I don't think it matters which one. It's basically if you get a treasure, close enough, she'll go to it. Oh, okay. Fine. Thank you. As opposed to her taking... She's not linked to a specific treasure. Oh, okay. That makes sense. Technically, it fell on me. Just oh, so you well, know. that's all right, then. Well, literally, just so your skull was crushed. I don't know if that actually bothers to detect overhead damage. <laughs> Ice crafting station. Yeah, there's a specific workbench that you can find in the uh, snow biome from the chests that lets you use ice to make different blocks. I think I bought one. I definitely have one in my other other world. It's like a it's like an ice dispenser or something you call it. <laughs> yeah, I think 
Well, I've got a honey dispenser, if that um, is of any use at all. I'll be honest, I'm not sure how it would be, but there we go. Emotionally scarred from the last time we had to deal with bees. As long as you're not <laughs> physically scarred, it's fine. Yeah, PTSD is fine these days, right? What's that sound for again? Bees, 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 bees. Yeah. Oh, wow, that's a solid snow. I feel I should get a bonus to digging snow when I'm using a molten pickaxe. Yes, makes sense. But yeah, tactic servers, we have genuinely um, avoided. Wait, hold on. On my map, Blood Rose is beneath me and to the right. In game, Blood Rose is beneath me and to the left. What on earth? On my map, she's beneath you and to the left. Yeah, but she's. There it is. Uh... I got you some snow and some ice. Much appreciated. Welcome. Oh, chest detected nearby, by the way. So you should be able to triangulate one. Not triangulate, what's good? Single angulate. You should be able to work out which direction it is. Ah, there we go. Directly beneath me, I think. We have been chatting about whatever our next game is, you know, what, what, we, want, what we want to start, how we're going in the background, um, as always. Uh, and I'm trying to work out something that has the smallest amount of UI possible. So I reckon eight, at least a third of my dev time on Nevada has been menus, UI, all of that. And it's soul draining and it's time consuming. It's, it's mostly that UI is very, very slow, um, and it's also prone to error. Um, and it's extremely difficult to get it right the first time. You've got to sort of do it and then play with it and go, oh, that doesn't really work. And then you need to potentially do a different UI for pad and mouse. And it's just, it's just so much work, and I hate it with a passion. And unfortunately, games end up with a lot of UI. I'm trying to work towards removing you, I can put the crop to. Uh, I'd much rather machines. You just looked at machine and went, ah, oh, good, that's it, is rather than it popping up dialogue box. Thinking about the old games, you never had lots of buttons and clues and things. To, it was just like, here's the game, you have to know by reading the manual what controls. And the controls usually, you know, set in concrete for the most part. Oh, god, yeah, re reconfigurable controls. I mean, on the spectrum, you've got reconfigurable controls, but only because a lot of joysticks would. Um, appear as different keyboard presses, you know, Kempton joystick and so on. Uh, but yeah, the concept of rebinding controls was relatively new. Oh yeah, I mean, I, I think a lot of us are of the age, what the first thing we would do is read the manual in the back of my mum's car on the way home. Oh yeah. Well, I often read manuals in the back of your mum's so. car. <laughs> that makes no sense to anyone. That was defi you. definitely one of the um, 
one of the, the good bits about older games because you had that lovely big manual and you would read it. Not always, something that was just an inlay. I mean, Midwinter came with a novella, so did Starglider actually. Uh, the Starglider novella was written by. What's his name? It was the guy who wrote One Flew Over a Cuckoo's Nest. Like. Sally yeah. Kubrick. No, that was. Clockwork like Orange. Uh, yeah. I kind of like with Tactics Forever that you can beat people offline. Unfortunately, all the, the one thing that everybody asked was I want to control my own ship. So I might just let you do that. Um, it, it's not hard to implement that. It's just that you won't ever achieve much because it takes you a long time. And, I'm never going to implement real time. Well, if it sells well, I might implement real time multiplayer, but only if it sells well. Then it's going to be very dis satisfying to beat someone that is uh, piloting their ship by not piloting mine. Well, no, because you won't ever see them beat your ship. But you mean a situation where someone re repeatedly. The thing is, if you choose. If you pick your ship and choose a ship to fight against, there's very little XP that is um, available to you. The most the XP is given for fighting a random ship again in a random universe, um, because that is the, that's the, the gives the most health to the system, and it picks um, ships that are fought the least by by rep for, for preference. So I have encouraged players to essentially be good for the ecosystem. Um, if you are being bad for the ecosystem, in the sense that you are just fighting your ship endlessly. If it's a ship you've already beat, I think you might not get any XP at all. Did you only get XP for fighting a ship you haven't previously beaten? I have tried to encourage players. But some people will do want to control their own ship, and I'm like, well then I will I will let you. I've decided I'm just going to implement it. It won't be real time, that's a different uh, different issue. Wait. Just means that somewhere deep down in the uh, this underground sand biome, um, there's a random blue slime banner. Best of luck finding it. As you're going to help it, I'll help it teaming up with the fire imp. And the two of them finish me off. Oh, that's it, don't get your stuff, you don't have one. I'm, I think I've got enough hell to, hellstone to make it now. Oh, I need some, some obsidian. I will need some obsidian. Might be in a chest. It should be in a chest somewhere. Might be the chest. I mean, someone's moving them. That's it not helpful. It should be in the chest talking. by the hellforge. I don't know what the hellforge looks like. A, uh, which, it, what are you top, looking for? It's at the top left of the house, at the base. Oh, the one that I was using to sort the fishing crate? No, there was one labelled something, there was an unlabeled one. I don't have any obsidian on there, I think. I've got shadow scales for some unknown reason. Yeah, so the one labelled ores and metals has disappeared. Oh, that's been... it's because there was just ores and just metal. It's that's been separated it's into ores and metal. These first two aqua chests right here. Oh, I'll probably team to change the team bed, don't I? That'd help. I'm like, someone's talking to me, I'm like, yeah, but which character are you? Ooh, that's weird. Esme's name is, like, an inch across to her. That's bizarre. Okay, fine. Yeah, I think my, uh, Blood Rose is definitely not where she should be in the two different types of maps. So I suspect they broke something. The whole, sorry, the whole point of having ores and metals is the fact you can take the ores out, smelt them, and put them back in. That was all. Sorry. Damn, sorry. Go. Allow, me, allow me to correct you. The point of that was so you all put ores in and I smelted them, you lazy fucks. Well, that's, <laughs> you know, I'm not really that interested in doing that. But, I mean, you should just. You should, there's no point ever in keeping ore. Ore is a zero use item. You should always smelt it. Even takes up my first room. You have to go different, different things to do with it, don't you? You can all do it one. Always. Uh, do all of them. The ore is of no use at all. It's always you smelt it into bars. There's no mistakes you can make.
Oh, what's this green stuff on my screen? I don't recognise that. It looks like bright green mushroom grass. I must resist the urge to terraform this into another mushroom biome. Green. Oh, it's mushroom biome on stone, I guess. Luckily, death doesn't count as a strike. <laughs> I think it does in real golf. I think if you die, um, that actually just cancels the end of your go. There was a trivia YouTube channel that had an episode on an ancient rest though. Rest. Try to pin the opponent. That sport. Uh, he won while dead. And I think it counted as legit winning. But yeah, if you're halfway through a hole, though, it doesn't count. Oh, I've just connected. Oh, wow, that map be a lot of biome. Awesome. I'm generally quite impressed with the lighting in this game though. It's not as round as it should be, but it really is quite nice. Where does Obsidian belong in our organisation of things? Ors. Ors. Because if you haven't got Hellstone, you can't do anything with it. And if you don't have Obsidian, you can't do anything with Hellstone. Fine. Get a bit of a catch me too. Which one's the Hell for, John? It's, 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 I put it out of the way so you're not near any other help, the other things. There's very little reason you'd ever use the health ward except to smell health ward and stuff. Yeah, I'm trying to smell health in bars. It's, it's up, it's above, it's on the third floor. Oh, way up there, yeah. okay. Is the one I put in, the one um, where I put the cell phone? Yes, it's next to the cell phone. Ah, okay, didn't let me do that last time. Oh, I got a cloud Oh, you have to smelt them with obsidian? Oh, yes. shiza. I have a cloud in the bottle that we need. See, there, there is a rhyme and reason to having a, a treasure or a chest room like this. So you can run in and just hit the quick stack to nearby chest button in your inventory and it'll clean out your inventory. I'm like, it's so easy to screw it up and stop putting stuff in the walls. That's why you gotta have the chests organized in a way of... I know what I'm talking about. I believe you think you know what you're talking about, like you really do. I'm very medicated right now. I still believe you think you know what you're organized. I have seven hearts on me, and I think I can only eat eight of them. I'm not done. Ah oh, man, mushroom stuff looks really nice on um, rock. Didn't know that was a thing, and sadly it's not really useful. I don't think mushrooms grow in it, but it's pretty. Ooh, murderous imp stuff. That's the one. Mm. I believe mythical is always the best um, role on items. 
one. And you can reroll them with a wizard or someone, can't you? To be honest, it's just you might as well go and get some more health or some more aura. Reroll. Oh wow, this is so pretty here. But the imp's good, it's, it's range and it's nicely aggressive. So to a degree, you can quite just ignore them and it will just uh, deal with them for you. I hope so. I'm gonna get some more hailstone. I mean, currently, the best axe is from hailstone. The I'm sorry, pickaxe, axe, hammer, armor, sort of casting is all from hailstone. But that's when we have access to rather than the best. Oh man, this is so. Look, I hope this looks equally as good on the stream. I'm not sure, I think it needs a bit of vibrancy when it's MP, but it's. Really nice. Well, at least the bottom half of the screen isn't cutting out this. I, I've been running it in the second window, so um, I'm doing that anymore. But you definitely lose a lot of the, the vibrance in the game. Why the tumbler just kills Shalka? They have, a, they have a harassment policy about that. You can just complain and they'll go deal with it. This uh, imp stuff pretty good, actually. Yeah, yeah, they're good. I, I mean, what you really want to do is couple that with um, improved summon damage and stuff. But I would need to go and check. I, I don't think we get access to any sensible summoner armor. I think this little jungle. Oh, that post armor. The B armor? Yeah, cool. Let's just do that because that went so well last time. Actually, be fair, we nearly got it. Given the boss doesn't. If score. we had a little bit more room and if we actually didn't accidentally summon it. That would have helped, yes. But the fact she doesn't despawn um, it actually makes her quite easy. Oh, yeah, because you just have somebody go way off out there and stay alive. This is my new favourite part of the game, by the way. I really like this. Just this huge glowing green area. And it's all mapping itself, because it's all glowing. But it's nice to know that we just have to keep her in the jungle, and she won't enrage. So, does she enrage because she left the jungle, or does she enrage because... Yes. Because she left the jungle, she enraged. Not because she took too long. Correct. Okay. And I find it amazing that we still almost took her down while she was enraged. Well, yeah, I mean, a lot of it helped that Max dropped down the shot. And that's the thing, all we have to do is there's only one person on the left. Right here at the base, and there's one person there. That person just drops down our shaft. And everyone else comes back to life. She seems to find people pretty quick. Oh yeah, well she'll find you, but she only despawns everyone's death. Which makes her very, very, very easy to cheese. If going far away increases the time she has to find you. Well yeah, because she has to you know what? be quite active. Yeah. I've got this interesting item called a magic conch, and it will teleport you to an ocean. Now if you use it again, it teleports you to the other ocean. See where I'm going with this? I do. No, what do you want to do? Use it in the B fight. Use it in the B fight and just... You want to drown bees? Kite her. No, You're right. Hold on, hold on. Alexa, can bees swim? Bees cannot swim. Excellent. Thank you, Alexa. Brilliant plan. Oh, that's going to be the, the best response she's given <laughs> for any of my stupid questions in a while. <laughs> yes, I do see where you're going for that. Is there a cooldown? Can you use it during a boss fight? Nope, no cooldown. Because I, I know this because usually it'll teleport me to the wrong beach, then I'll just immediately use it again to get to the right beach. I mean, she does drop the B gun, she drops the B armor. It's not the be all and end all, but she's pretty good. Everyone's a critic.
I mean, I think I'm funny, but I guess you have to be there. I've got a lot of million of them. Wait, there's a bunch. I've just found a bunch of houses just here in the middle of nowhere. There's like two houses. Why? Did we build them? Bastard. Or... This house is Fire Route 5. <laughs> Your jokes aren't pollen very well. Pollen well. Oh. I was going, I had a Fire Route versus Fire Route, but um, the, the other one I had it nearly dead, and then mine tele it teleported through a wall or something. Mine didn't appear to teleport. Sorry, go on. Oh, we were just punning. So don't feel punished for continuing. I'm trying to work out the work, how I can work thorax into the joke, but uh, I'm struggling. Oh, it's so pretty here. I don't want to break it. Oh, that's the um the Krypton grass. It's mushroom grass that grows on team blocks. I don't know if it achieves anything. Right. You can use a paint scraper to scrape it up, and you can place it on stone elsewhere, and you can grow it out. It's great stuff. Apart from the fact it's really pretty, how is it great? It glows. That comes under being very pretty. And Dugger, I'm a big fan of glow-in-the-dark stuff. I, I have a couple of kilos of glow-in-the-dark filament on my printer just so I can print stuff that glows in the dark. So I am all for Oh, that stuff is that. great. Glow-in-the-dark, well, that was what really swung me on the 3D printer when I realized I could buy a kilogram of glow-in-the-dark plastic for 16 quid. Now, a kilo yeah. of... If I print every day, 12 hours a day for two weeks, I won't get through a kilo. That's like, how long am I... Wait. Filament comes in smaller spools? Um, yeah. But usually oh, by kilo. I've always just kilo. bought a, a kilo. Yeah, I usually buy a kilo. But yeah, the glow, I've got the glow in the dark Amazon basic stuff, and it's so good. I sure Didn't we have an argument about uh, illumination being a game mechanic and not a, a pretty issue? In this game, it's definitely a game mechanic. Um, I tried to make it a game mechanic in Fortress Craft, but people just spam torches everywhere. Like this game, we even have like attenuated lighting uh, creatures growing, um, like vines growing. And you also get light attenuation on the cobweb. It's less sensible, but you know, I'm not going to argue too much. Imagine how horrific the cobweb would have to be to actually block light. It would have to be full of what I call spider trophies. <laughs> or spiders. Or spiderlings. Or whatever they call the, the, those little... The sort of nest with all the spiderlings sort of still growing in it in the exact where it is. Yeah, I have one of those in my house. We were just here quite happily and on my washing machine was that and we looked at it and it burst and then hundreds of little tiny spiders just scattered into my house and I'm like oh brilliant um, no, Sarah, the point was that um, we wanted to, I wanted to make it so you basically ran around in darkness that you threw a glow stick and it didn't last long that torches were a rare and difficult resource and you this torch craft is definitely its best but it's really dark it really is and it's when you're in a, just a brightly lit room so I wanted to emphasize that um, but unfortunately, I failed. So, Fortunecraft 2, torches will be temporary, electric lights will be permanent, but you will be a long way into the game before you just light your base up permanently. I'm not 
so again, it's just a marijuana joke. No, this is a younger generation joke. Well, as I well, yes, because lit can mean that you're stoned. You see, you should you should maybe talk to the young generation. They'll explain that joke to you. I'd like to point out I'm still hip and cool. The young generation. I had to do a car ride, maybe a, a lift with an eleven year old boy about six weeks ago, and we turns out we watched the same YouTuber. So I'm definitely down with the kids. I won't say which one. You probably watch them too, but it makes me feel like I'm down with the kids at that point. Thank you, man. We had something to talk about. Otherwise, I'm just, I had to set on the old favourites, you know, what's your favourite dinosaur? Hmm. Hold on a minute. I see a chest, and I nearly opened it, and I noticed a, a dark trap. And then I noticed three bits of dynamite. Nice try, chest, man. It's always great when you see the, the dynamite, and then you see the dark traps. And then you look up. It's so complete overkill. I like it when you look up and you notice the boulder trap. You're like, ah, nearly. Okay, I've got a regeneration. Another, I've got a regeneration band. If anybody wants that one as well. Um, I also got a cloud in a bottle still. If you don't, who doesn't have double jump? I do have double jump. That's because I've got boots or something. Said, if I pick up an explosive, I get to see all of the wires on the map. I forgot about that. You can run around like this and you can use that to discover traps. Strictly speaking, I was trying to move upwards and I got stunned by a fire imp and pushed into lava that was falling. Yes, yeah, so if you get down deep where we were before, you'll get many, many, many less mobs to worry about. I am. Um, it's just a still spawning. Not sure I'm going exactly deep enough. I mean, you need to get to the point where it stops scrolling, basically. This green... So, I think this is just like a bunch of... of um, uh, what's the word? Just like rock caves. It just happened to have one of the Kryptonian grass at the beginning, so it's been growing all the time we've been playing. This game shows golf balls on the map. This is unrealistic breaking immersion, totally. It shows golf balls on the map? Yeah. Well, that means you're on easy mode. If you press tab, that puts in the hard mode. It's an essential experience with golf balls to lose them. Turn the map off and you won't have that problem. Um, it's me and um, your friend. Thank you very much for, for sorting the chest out. Is there somewhere where you can that's nominated? Sorry, someone that's nominated just dump, or is there a mechanism? Do we use? Uh, are you saying Adam? I mean, you should use quick stack. Uh, I really. think I'm gonna place a spot right underneath, so right over here. That's gonna be just a dump spot. Just oh, okay. a bunch of chests. Just dump whatever. I'll get sorted out later. Yeah, because I don't think there's anything really worthy of keeping, but uh, I just hate to throw away obsidian. No, we'll put obsidian in doors. Obsidian's useful, definitely. Doors, doors. Oh, um, less so. But yeah. I mean, there's theoretically a finite amount of obsidian on the map. There's a finite amount of water um, and a finite amount of lava. 
have. Except that water will grow if it's flowing. So, so long as the liquid is flowing, it tends to duplicate itself. Even when you're not trying to. It, it makes the liquids much harder to get rid of than it is to grow them. I don't think I've ever actually managed it. <laughs> Every time I play Terraria, I want to write a 2D game with, with really, really good fluid mechanics. But I should probably play Dig or Die Through again. I really enjoyed that. It was just way too hard. Well, I do recommend you guys stick it on your wishlist in case it turns up. It's got, it's, imagine this, but with use for the fluid mechanics, like proper uses. Oh, the burning spheres are nasty. They're the ones Where that is that? Hell, they kind of orbit round the, um, the base, like they orbit round the blocks. Oh, another band of regeneration. Oh, over in the dungeon? I don't think Ma Max is in hell. Are you in no, the I'm in hell. Skeletron? He's in hell. I've never seen those there. A Dwarf Fortress does have quite good fluid, but it... Oh, I've just drunk a Danger Sense Potion. Well, I pressed N, I think, and I drunk a Danger Sense Potion. Uh, I... It was B, which is it drank all your buff food and potion. Oh, Anything wow. Anything that can give you a buff, it consumes. So I don't know if you played No Man's Sky, but in No Man's Sky, a lot of your buff pressures are holds, not presses, and that is why... Yes, we still have plans to play that at some point, don't we? Yeah, I, I, well, I, I really like it in VR. It's, it's, uh, it's amazing in VR. It's properly, properly just. You mean incredible. the green screen and etc. so people can see what you're interacting with? Oh, God, no. <laughs> it doesn't stream very well in VR, but I, I, I just like No Man's Sky, and uh, they're, they're putting more content into it far quicker than I can play it. We are... no, Masterman, oh fuck no. We're on Expert. And even that genuinely is a nightmare. Such a huge difference between the modes. Well, the normal mob... I mean, there is a difference in the normal mobs. Not as far as I'm aware. Um, obviously, we know about the, uh, the, the big health gen change. Um, but the main one is the vile spit and the... Charge on um, the Velvet Joya and the charge on the Eye of the Zulu. It's, it, it just makes such, it's, it, it becomes really, really difficult to beat them without having max health. Uh, no Man's Sky has the advantage that you can. I play it sitting down when I'm in a spaceship and standing up when I'm walking around. So you don't need any large map. Are you making it us an 18 hole golf course, Shalka? Have you decided um, that... Technically, golf courses should be 22. Really? Yep. I've never heard of a 22-hole golf course. St. Andrews, um, one of the ones up in Scotland, basically four of the holes fell into the sea, which is why it's traditionally 18 now. Well, 19, because you've got the 19 Oh, hole, yes. Which is and don't forget the 19, fun. yeah. I mean, I think if I was going to play a game like that, I would actually recommend we play Astroneer when next month, when the automation patch comes out. Oh, buggeration. Oh, fine. Um, where's good stuff? Okay, so I'm going to put in the good stuff a band of regeneration, um, dead man's sweater, a violent compass, um and a spiked band of regeneration. Uh, come to, I mean, there's a chest next to the Hellforge for anything that can go into making a cell phone that um, Compass would go. Hey, I got rid of a mob using explosives. Very pleased myself. Yeah, with Astroneer, I really felt that Astroneer 
did their game and I think one of them played Fortress Craft. They they really felt they were trying to like ape Fortress Craft in a their game is beautiful and it's so good. No UI, it's fully diegetic, it's great. And then they tried to make it more complicated with their you know their power diodes and the flow and all that. And it's like this game it doesn't work when you try and jam that in. I'm on my way back. Sorry, Shaka? Adding automation to a game that doesn't have it can change it quite drastically. Well, the automation in Astro looks quite cool. So you could have a robot arm and it will pick up anything nearby and put it onto a nearby um, uh, storage thing. Yet yeah, they have totally broken the name thing. I might try leaving this group and come back in. Heretic! Get the heretic. Yeah, so Dr. Realism is, is listed as southwest from me. But if I look on the map, he's very clearly not southwest. Yeah, I'm not even seeing anybody. Yeah. Unless if I look on the map. I think they broke So it. the names aren't even popping up. Um, Ashenir is very much a game that is much better multiplayer. Much, much, much better. Um, actually, it's also one of those games where you have to kind of make up your own challenges to a degree. Um, so a good example there is you can have you can have an entire mobile base, hunter mobile, no point whatsoever, a lot of effort, not as good as a regular base, but you can absolutely do so. Yeah, that shares a lot of similarity with Careball. That regard. Yes. Um, it has got better, so they have improved a lot of the... Um, uh, now there's actually a reason to go to other planets, for instance, rather than it being, hey, there are other planets, why? Well, they have all the same materials, so whatever. Yeah, and the biomes are still pretty large. You don't gain that much by going deep. Or going wide. It's pretty much a planet wide but Well, I think they have a, a slightly deep and a very deep. But apart from that, there's not a lot to if anything to gain by going down, I don't think. I was thinking that game would work much better if the default bodies were much smaller. Where the spherically uh, would be more noticeable. Yeah, it would be nice if you could spawn your astroneer game with different size um planets. Uh, Max, if you come to me, there's quite a big bit of uh, meteorite here. It should be fairly easy to get to. Meteorite. Sorry, I mean... Uh... It's kind of cool that the planets are planet-sized. Well, they're not. They're like 20 kilometers across, so they are very small for planets. Yeah, I guess not planet sized, but in many games they are, they are very small, but they are somewhat roomy in astronomers. You don't actually run out of room. Yeah, um. Um. Tezan, I'm not disagreeing with you, but I don't know what to do. I've charged up some of the diagonal pyramid things and I went to the middle of a planet and couldn't really navigate and then I I kind of gave up. Don't you have to get to the middle of all the planets or something? It's very unclear I found. Yeah. And I found it it's very samey in all directions that makes navigating very difficult. Yes. It's very easy to get lost. I thought it would be interesting that there would be different things in different directions and it would be about exploration. Well it is, but it's about exploring to a different planet rather than um, exploring on the same planet. Yeah, but you don't wonder what's behind the next corner because you know it's the same yes. distribution. That's the well that's the problem with single whoopsie. That's, sorry, a little, little bit of lava coming down. Sorry, just a little bit. Sorry, sorry. Dig underneath. That's it. Ow. 
Astroneer, yes, not stationary. Sorry, sorry, move. Run, Max, run. Bone worm. Oh, nice. However, I'm not sure you thought that plan all the way through. Oh no, you, you, you have to, you thought you could be surrounded by lava then. Yeah, I'm hoping that this lava's going to drain off the bottom of the level because there is a void there, but it doesn't seem and to be going through the I, void. I think they may have removed the void. Someone... It's just funny that you could get higher than the sun. In real life, you can't do that. Can someone tell me where the ores go? Because I can't see the ores chest anymore. It's one of the aquatic chests. It's the first one next to the, the hell of Ah, right, there we go. Okay, cool. I'll put my uh, hellstone stuff in there for you, Max. Beautiful, thank you. I did get some. I guess no one's seen the meteorite, have they? And hey, Tab. Hello. We're mostly just chilling. We're, we, we are. Um, we reckon we can probably do the queen bee. We've got a couple of ideas. Um, Crap. Mostly it's about getting more health. Seems to be our main plan. It's good. Don't come in this area. And don't mind that. We'll tell you. Get burnt. I've been playing on Thank a you. small map and the amount of heart containers that are all crammed together as tight as possible is nutty. Really? I, I thought you just got... It oh my should, gosh. It should be fairly equidistant. That's the... That's what. That's it's a smaller map, so they're all crammed on top of each yeah, other. Have I less. have sixteen extra heart containers. <laughs> but you have less on the small map. Uh, no, blood brothers. I mean, it, it wasn't that. I mean, we 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 were dying. We weren't prepared. Um, I accidentally summoned the queen bee. It wasn't on purpose. But I think my imp shot something. That would do it. But it does scale to number of people on the server, far as I'm aware. Yes, so absolutely. Um, I also believe that is a non... Oh, pink fairy. I also believe that is a non-linear scale. Um, so if you've got twice as many people, uh, the more people, the more health. But it's not twice as many people, it's twice as much health. Twice as many people, it's more than twice as much health. Does that mean developers assume that people bring health with them from other worlds? Um, it just means it's actually easier to kill the boss by yourself. Which is silly, but that's unfortunately how it is. So I've got more hailstone and a bit, and obviously no more obsidian. What was I going to do with them? I forget. <laughs> In the staff, I thought? I have one. Oh, no, I don't know why you went back down. Uh, of course, we're having trouble with wanting some more hailstone for something. Else. Um, you've got the molten bow. You've got the molten pickaxe. Yep. Molten flaming mace or flaming mace, sorry. Oh no no! It was if you make another one, you might get a better one. That was what it was. Absolutely, yeah. Because so mine's eighteen summon damage, and by default seventy. We wanted to get a better one. So going by the laws of greed, I'm probably almost certainly doomed.
Yeah, I mean, again, with Astroneer, um, oh, the music just changed. Uh, to actually open Astroneer, there is a degree, you do have to decide on your own challenges, which is a bit of a shame. But that is just the, the nature of that game. Oh, we got a tinker Tinkerer's What's It now. Hey. Oh, no, it's just moved. Who's got a Tinkerer's What's It? There. I was looking to Excellent. set it up next to some chests so that we could put all the... Uh, um, all the reasons. Gifts and bobs you together. know what? We should probably Not wishing to be derogatory, in... but the girls are really doing a nice job of organising it. Yes, they are. So I'd this like to amazing. refer that to, to their preference. Oh, Because I suck at that. I saw... A little old match. Um, by the way, my murderous imp staff is now a 19 summon damage. Nice. One extra whole point damage. <laughs> as good as my one. Yeah. I mean, honestly, to Anshin, uh, I think very, very, very few people have done everything Fortunecraft has to offer. It's just simply too much. There really, really is. And I think people think, one guy said, oh, you can see all the game has to offer in 24 hours. And I looked at his achievement, and he got like 40 achievements. I was like, so you haven't done the easy achievements, let alone any of the actually challenging ones. Was that one of the uh, reviews? Yes. I commented on going. I saw that one. Going, Basically, you're a liar. And then they just say, oh, oh, De Dev doesn't respect his customers. It's like, yeah, but, but you're literally lying in your review. It's not as if I disagree with your opinion. You think the game is shit? That's your opinion. You can see everything in the game in 24 hours. No, you bloody can't. Factually inaccurate. Oh, yeah, if I could mark Steam reviews as factually inaccurate, I would be so happy. Even Android and iOS has, just has a little marker that says this review was for a previous version of the game. And it's automated, and that would help so much. It's kind of hard to delineate what counts as game content. So, what having super objective... That, on that case, it's very clearly that uh, it's inaccurate. But how much self-imposed challenges should you place on yourself on Astroneer to have done all of the game? Oh no, I mean, in this case, it was just that I... I feel that Steam should allow me, as the dev, to flag up reviews as factually, factually inaccurate. Not I disagree with it, not it's abuse, well I should be able to flag as abuse, that's not the point. Other people will should be, I, don't, I think there's an element of um, it has peer that, review that or whatever, not, people it, people looking at it and going, this is bullshit, there is like a thing like that on other reviews. So. We don't have enough, um, what's the word, um, uh, traffic to make that warranted. We, we have the problem that Fortunecraft keeps going from like 95% positive to 30% every time we go into a sale. We just don't have the uh, uh, population continually reviewing reviews and marking them up and down. But that's why the dev should should be able to submit a, tel a ticket to fact Steve uh, uh, Valve going, this is factually inaccurate, it is not, yeah, it is physically not possible to see everything the game has to offer. Um, if you are the world's best Fortnite player, you might be able to complete the base game in rush mode, which you have to unlock in 12 hours. Maybe. What have we got, Tad? What have we got? Guy Mill. A what? Guy Mill and a balloon. A guy, guy Mill lets us build with uh, the blocks. Air, the Air Sky Air blocks. Guide. It's dead. Yay! The, the item was a balloon. I, I don't know what a Guide Mill is. Sky mill. It's used for special crafting. You can make your bed out of these uh, sky blocks. It's, it's purely aesthetic. Oh, right. Yeah, so the special crafting station for special blocks. Gotcha. There would probably need to be a reason why a dev would not just lack every other post. Because you have to write up why it's factual. And maybe after three Valve going, can you, you know, you get you you get to do three incorrect ones. I mean, YouTube's managed this quite happily. I said our, our lockdown land uh, videos have now been flagged by YouTube as um, what's the word? Uh, accurately um, 
we haven't had any more of you yet. We've done loads of videos, so but YouTube have gone. Cool, you're you're awesome. You are not messing us about. Um, so we actually get this, you know, YouTube manager. Why can't Steve? I have no problems with someone giving me their opinion on my game. That is absolutely fine and valid, and that is how it should be. You shouldn't get to lie about it. Okay, so monolithic oh, platform got around has to low pressure for there's, there's a um, Eater of Worlds cloud. Not Eater of Worlds, there's an I've Cthulhu cloud in the background. Can you see it, Tad? We, we figured out that those were not. Uh... I know, but no, but it just looks cool. Like the game has clouds. I've seen one like though. So you go, oh look, it looks like a Volkswagen. I've seen one that looked like a heart container. I was oh, like, oh, that's neat. Uh, the traveling merchant just arrived, by the way. Just... All right, I'll look at Um, you require stopwatch, a DPS meter, a life form analyzer, fifteen gold, please. Let's find out what he's got. He winds up in the weirdest spots. He has life form analyzer. Um, I assume what? that that's is... good. Uh, where's Rosebud? Uh, Rosebud, I've put your blood rose. Sorry, Rosebud. It's just something else entirely. Um, I've put your honey dispenser just above the word, the letter O in lockdown. Which you can use for special crafting. Oh, I like they got Saki. You drink too much of this and you become my karate master. <laughs> um, if you do want a, um, a goblin tech... Sorry. If you do want a wreck 3000, then you're going to need a life form analyzer. I bought a bunch and put them in the accessories boxes Thank next you. to the tinkers. Someone's really, got, someone's really got most of the, the DPS, if not uh, a cell phone on them, because I can see all these stats buzzing around them. I can't believe that they broke that. Like, really. Uh, sorry, are they the um, yeah. the name positions? Yeah. Uh, Esmir, where did you put them, sorry? It's the, right where I am. The accessories? No, the, the, oh, the yeah, the life form analyzer, etc. Yeah, right down here by the Tinker's workbench. Oh, okay. I'm going to put them by the cell phone parts so we don't lose them and people don't start going, Oh, I'll have one of those! Cause I cannot hear the word Tinker's without expecting the word cuss immediately after it. Or is that a British thing? Anyone? Bueller? Do, do you know what it means, Brian? You're British. Uh, <laughs> Tinker's cuss is Tinker's curse, isn't it? It's That's like some of one of those weird things we say, like uh, spare the ship for a pen of the tar. I mean, sheep, not ship, but it does also apply to ships. Well, in this case, it's just a very, very polite. If I said I couldn't give a flying fuck, it's not very polite. But if I say I couldn't give a Tinker's cuss, it's a much polite way of saying exactly the same thing. I like that. I've never heard that before. I'll be honest, I'm not really sure what a tinker is, other than one who mm. tinks. Did you ever play, um, oh, sorry, play, did you ever watch Lovejoy? Um, From that, I guess not. Uh, maybe. I mean, yeah, but don't ask me any questions about it. What, why? Oh, there's a chap called Tinker in it, and he, ah. he was always up to no good. 400 is the answer to the question of what is the maximum health you can get. From gold stars? From red stars. From red, red, uh, yeah, you know what I mean, red hearts. So now the quest is on for us to find radars and tally counters so we can get a wreck 3000. Okay. Oh. Okay, I've just hoofed it into the uh, dungeon. Um, yeah, whatever, skelly man. I got a bone crafter. Yeah, but that was all. Did you find books. any magic books? No, no magic books. Two Arcathulu clouds. 
Um, the the magic books are, sur are surely no better than the um. From There's the water hell. vault. That thing's amazing. We could probably use that in some of the boss. Um, Blood Rose, I've left you the Bone Crafter here as well. Because you seem to be our uh, our lady of creativity. That's the one. Uh. Talk to Sifi. What do you want, Sifi? I fed you some of this stuff. Oh, who's a big boy? Who's a big fluffy cat? Um, I was, I was mostly around. Right. If anyone finds the meteorite, let me know. But no one has yet. We use too much teleporters. Well, that's why I was running around, but I got killed by a skeletal head. Elatron? Uh, skeletal? No, not well. No, the uh, you really should have close enough. Thunder, yeah. Give me Tina, he man. It's not between the jungle pylon and the right hand ocean, I'll tell you that. Nothing. Oh, fuck off, shark. I'll set her in his boots. And killed by a shark. Yeah, I killed a seagull by jumping on it with my slime mount. <laughs> 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 so satisfying killing seagulls. Damn, You're right. Do you imagine I fucking hate seagulls? Uh, I think you might. Yeah, oh, yeah. Quick walking water. Quick. Oh my god. Quick water walking boots. I'm leaving you. There allow, we go. <laughs> allow me to walk on honey. And water. Uh, yeah, but honey most important. I assume I can upcraft those with something, but sadly not with sailfish boots. Which ones? Water walking. to do with fire walking. Uh, yeah, the sailfish ones upgrade with a... They, they upgrade with frog lay. Good pardon? It's a... It's it's weird. Into, um... Amphibian. Then craft the is really not worth it. other boots all combine into... Yeah, so, so according the to the wiki, water walking boots combine with molten charm or obsidian skull to make lava waders or obsidian water walking boots. But doesn't say anything about the sailfish boots. Yeah, what I really want is... I don't know if there is an ultimate boot that does everything in the game. Is there an ultimate boot? There is! They finally made one. I think boots Terra are pretty Spark. good. It's, it's called what, sorry? Terra Spark boots. And you can make it right now, pre yard mode. Seems unlikely. Just make lava waders. Hey! You need the Hermes boots. You need the uh, water walking boots. You need a aglet. You need a. Uh, there's there's another. Keep going. I've got those three. Charm. What's the fourth one? I've got those. Load the lava charm. I upcraft all that into like um, the lightning. 
You combine those with ice skates to create the, the frost ones. And then you combine those with the lava waders. And that creates the, the terrace part. I don't think I don't have as any ice skates. Oh, wait. See if he's off because he's getting fed. I see if he. Long time for you. So, uh, yeah. I've got all of that. Tell him, tell him my story about aglets. Yes, go on. Tell us about yeah, aglets. What's an aglet? Well, I have a story about aglets. Apart from you, Brian, who's heard the story, does anyone else know what an aglet is? I don't think I know what that is. You probably don't. It's a bit of an odd word. Oh, I found the meteorite. Oh, it's... Oh, my God. This one is even bigger. How is that even possible? So I emailed... So we did a thing. I had a blog, and it was called Good Customer Service. And what we did is we would email customer service with a silly question. This came about because I, I got like a bottle of orange juice or something. And it said, if you have any questions, ring us. Like, what questions do I have about a bottle of orange juice? So we would contact customer service with stupid questions. And one of my questions was, I emailed Clarks, which are a huge, huge British um, shoe firm. And I said, hello. I said, can you please tell me what are the ends is the end of a shoelace called? And he went, well, thank you for your letter. Um, on the email, not that old. Um, on the shop floor, we call them gimps, but that's probably not the right name. I'll get, I'll, I'll find out, and I'll get back to you. I was amused that he, the, he referred, he sort of with the word gimp in the email, but there we go. Uh, he responded a few days ago. Hello, I found out they are called aglets. So it's the little plastic bit on the end of a shoelace. In fact, it's anything at the end of a rope to stop it fraying. You can get one normal size ropes too. Esmir, you should eat or drink or campfire. Fire, hang on. Oh, she's just stopped being on fire. So there you go. Yes, you're quite right. The little bit on the end of the shoelaces. Very good, Anshin. All right, I Anshin. thought I was wearing a thing. Okay, Anshin, I'm going to give you. A, I'll give you a, a second quiz then. What is the the on a ballpoint pen? What's the clicky in and out bit called? No idea. I, don't know, so I can't remember either, but I'm assuming he's going to Is it not a button or something like that? No, it's got a special name. Like That particular mechanism has got a special name. I just can't remember it. Is it really the park, Bounce? Uh, did Parker own Bic? Possibly. It's know. not a clicker majigger. Click majigger digger. <laughs> I'll buy that. You'd buy anything. Does anybody have a campfire? One already down. I know where they are. So it is. No, never mind, there is one already down. You're quite right. It is a by stable wreck method, but it has a proper name. Like, it has a name when it's used in a, um, uh, a ballpoint pen. Oh, there's one on the floor. PJ. Dang it. Yes? Hi. Does <laughs> that mine my health? Thanks. I see your construction and I will let it be. <laughs> I haven't looked yet. Oh shit, I've just dug up the pylon. That's the wrong button. <laughs> I realize there are lots of old timey words that the people used to know what they mean, but nowadays don't. Lots of words related to ag agriculture. I threw myself into the ocean for reasons that I'm not going to go into right now. And I've got a new item that I managed to get up by killing something. So that's rather cool. And it's a conch. Yes, here's a question for you. Hmm. What, what is a god cake? Oh, that's some easy. Fans that, know this one. That's a god cake is very easy. That is a macaroon because right. that is the best cake. Incorrect. Nah, or at least, what's the gummage reference? Well, I never knew what it was called at all until I saw it in Wars of Gamage, and it was basically where um, a piece of a cart track or a, a road splits into a T-junction, but not specifically a T-junction, it's where it's um, sort of got a curve off to the left 
and you know, it makes it makes a T junction, but you've got a little sort of triangle of land where the carts just couldn't go because they're you know, travel. I know exactly what you mean. Uh, I've never heard it called anything before, other than a T junction. Yes. Who wants to believe you're right? Shit. What do you mean by shit? Um, meteorite ore. Uh, no thank you. I'm somewhat engaged. It's me, I'm fighting for my life and trying to build. Say again. I've got the meteorite ore. Who, who's going to take it, deal with it, accumulate it? I'll take it back. And it went to him. Well, I've got most of it anyway, so... Uh, 600 for you. You are not on red team. Oh, spit on him. By the way. Definitely spit on him. It's definitely not within spitting distance. Oh wait, where's the piggy bank gone? Did not. It's down it here below. next to all the ah, other chests. Oh, it's on a shelf. Oh, look at that. Right. So I've got an aglet. So can I screw up my upcraft? Is that possible? Probably. Wait, wait where are you in the, uh, the, the the scheme of the grand things? I've got uh, the boots on my screen right now. Well, I've got the water walking boots. I have the sailfish boots. I have the hasty aglet. That doesn't seem to be give me any sort of progression, though. No. Um, you need to mine. Need to combine the rocket boots with the sailfish boots rocket to get boots spectre boots. Rocket boots is from the goblin guy. Yes, goblin. Well, yep. please hold. Let me go to goblin man. I'm sure he's got a name. Um, Dars. I would like some rocket boots. Evan. Back to the what shall we call it? I go. Should probably put another one of those by him. Anyway, what can I make now? Now I can make. So name expector boots. No, I can't. I uh, boots. You need rocket Self boots. Yeah. So rocket boots plus. Let's do uh, here. Uh, 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 maybe it's all four. Oh, wait, oh was, hell. I, no, okay. I, I, no, no, please hold. I was saying about the wrong do hickey. Okay, I can now make Spectre Boots. Excellent. You're good. Right. You're going to need your Aglet and your Anklet of the Wind. I don't have an Anklet of the Wind. Okay. Is Anklet of the Wind upcrafted from something or...? Um, please hold. Uh, Anklet of the Wind. It's just looted from, the from I think, yeah. it's jungle. Random loot. Well, I should put my water walking boots and my hasty aglet away. Um, does anybody want double jump? I've got a double jump. Who doesn't have a cloud in the bottle or equivalent? You can tell us by pressing spacebar and pressing spacebar again. And nothing happens. Go, oh, me. I have a bottle in a. I don't have a double jump. You have a cloud in a bottle. Did you equip it in your one of your five accessory slots? Okay, now I figured how to use it. That one. So everyone's got. We don't. We don't need the counter bottle. I can just pop it in good stuff. Oh, but someone's put the turtle mount in good stuff. No, no. Ah, Shalka. The challenger appears. Shalka. Ah, uh, there you go. Oh, I've just given you four hearts. I think. You've got the lowest health by far. And some of you also marked with PvP. But Chuck, have you got enough? Have you got four hearts now? Ow. Eat them. Does anybody else see the solidifiers next to the chandelier? Does it look like a pair of eyes to anybody else? It, well, there's two and of the them, eyebrows so are waggling. So how, how many meds have you had today then that you're seeing just faces and things? That many. Not enough. <laughs> that was my, and I, I, I will use this phrase very, very loosely. That was my favourite part about when I broke my arm recently was the pain medication because I'm just like, I'm going to take this and I will be asleep 
so quickly. Like, I'm bonk all. I don't sleep. Oh. I never slept very well. And, uh, that helped a lot. Oh, it's the dice box. You're supposed yeah, to. All the way on the end. Okay. Uh, I was going to ask if you want to put the materials or just turn it into die, but you've got the materials. Dungeon, it's got a name, and I'm really sorry because I can't remember it myself, but they definitely have a special name. And I was hoping you'd I like, keep it as. Uh, uh, thing. Sorry. Okay. I keep it as materials because if there's like a special color that somebody's after, then it's usually easier to just leave it as a material so that they can just fetch the combination for that special color. They. Uh, Dungeon, you yeah. tweet them. Depth for hearts to spawn. Do hearts get more likely the deeper I go? Yes, except for in the jungle. In the jungle, they're just everywhere. In the jungle! What kind of jungle? The mighty jungle. Alright, what about the mighty jungle? The Is lion it? sleeps tonight. Oh, Alright, well, when does the lion sleep? Tonight. Okay. Now I'm going to ask all the questions again, but you have to s uh, do all the responses half an octave higher. <laughs> <laughs> the thing is, the uh, the urge to sing that song is never more than a whim away. A whim away. <laughs> <Next>. Now. <laughs> whim away, a whim away, a whim away, a whim. It is. Yeah. <laughs> I may not be a dad, really but I've done it. dad jokes my whole life. I can appreciate that. Um. Uh, Are you forgot to offer me your children, Brian? No. No, no, oh. I wasn't offering you that. You were um, thinking, thinking of a second game. Uh, no, I was just wondering about a thing. Uh, if you could look on the map quickly and just see where I've got to. Uh, you're up in the air. Am I warmer or colder? Um, I don't know because unfortunately I can't see where you are. Um, Doing up there. What you are, it wasn't paying attention. Um, I said to the right of the desert, you are to the left of the dungeon. Can I get up there again? Uh, oh, fair enough. You know where the corruption is? The far right hand, sorry, the penultimate right hand corruption. There is a tree. If you, look, if you look on your map, your big map, there's a tree. See the last big tree on the map? It's a very big tree. It's between the, the desert and the um, uh, jungle pylon. Oh, yeah, somewhere there, yeah. Yeah. Um, directly above the middle of the corruption, and then right, and then right. Some of the uh, guides I've seen on finding Sky Island are ridiculous. Fire a water bottle straight up, and if the water comes back down again, there's a Sky Island. There. I'm like, what, across the whole map? Across four miles of map, you want me to do what? We've gone with the, the less uh, awful way of doing it, which is just to give a moment of vacancy. I mean, I didn't even know there were Sky Islands, because there's no way you find them random. Well, you might do if you were bored, but you wouldn't go, you wouldn't go, oh, I wonder what's above me. You, you know, you, Almost effort you'd go up and find nothing. I've got bizarre guitar music going on now again. Doom Eternal has basically shown you how you put guitar music in a computer game, so if you're not doing it like that, you're doing it wrong. Uh. I don't even like metal, and the Doom soundtrack is just. Incredible. Absolutely 
one of my top 10 modern soundtracks in games, without a doubt. DJ. Yo. Yeah. The island that we were both on, uh -huh. you were going the other direction? I finished it, and I found a sky island for fishing. So. You found a puddle in the sky. A very large one. A large puddle. Can we think of a name for a large puddle? The sky? Yes. No, well, anywhere. Lake? A pond? Yes. Either of those words. A pond. Specifically built for fishing. Ice. I can't imagine why anyone would fish in a computer game if they don't have to. <laughs> Except Sega Bass Fishing, which is the best thing ever. I still hope we get one of those at the arcade, but we don't have one right now, and I, w I played the Dreamcast version, but I'd like the arcade version. It's got a rope up to it now. Yay, now I don't have to use a gravity potion anymore. It is not protected, so... You're gonna have to build something to keep you, the, the harpies away. Yeah, you should just build a box around me while I stand on a platform above the water. Yeah, but... It will make it look much better than I ever would. I want to look at this guy then. Okay. Whoa, that's a new trap. Holy shit, that was lucky. You got the stream open? That was, uh, that was, that's where you, you'll see it in a few seconds. Um, it was, uh, some sort of, like, sand avalanche. Oh yeah, those aren't fun. I just walked right past it because I happened to be running at the time. <laughs> But landed just behind me, and I went, oh wow, that was scary. It's terrifying. <laughs> Giant cube of dirt. Let's see what the merchant's got. Are you? Hey, another life crystal. Life form analyzer again. Hey. Oh, but he's got flamingos. He Need any pink loot on the flamingos? I was say, send him to Juji. Buying five. I'm curious, by the way, just to rewind the conversation a little bit, in Rose or Gummage, why were they referring to T shaped cart track layouts? Uh, because they need to meet him by the field opposite the God Cake. Wow. I feel I should have known that was a thing, given that I grew up basically in, 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 a, in, the, in the jungle. No, in the. In the in the wilderness. Raised by wolves. Oh, uh, bugger, I think it. Alexa, what's a god cake? Okay, okay. No, Alexa, stop. She's like, cake? Right, I heard there was a cake. I'm gonna give you a cake recipe. <laughs> oh, it's all ant lion. Well, then, random flamingo. I, you don't like my flamingo. Does flamingo have any specific advantages? One flamingo. Oh, I can, see. They can float, and to they be go your really friend.
Well, I uh, cleaned out my keyboard the other day. I actually uh, pull, forcibly pulled the keys off and um, cleaned it, and uh, it was revolting. I I know that my keyboard doesn't have a, a flap on the back. I can't just open up and then just do that. It was proper horrible, though. I mean, it was hair and bits. I'm sure if you had uh, somewhere of recreating people from DNA, that would have been enough material in there to do it. Wait a second, oh, es Esmir, you're right. Whichever ocean I want to go to, I get teleported to the other one first. It my mind. It's like a USB plug. No, that takes three, three attempts to get away. Right. Oh, that's right. Oh, there's an underground cave in the water. I'm gonna try. So predictable. Come on, little man. Oh no, I'm not going to make it. <gasps> that was very close. Oh man, someone else has already found it to the torches. God damn it. Oh. Um, tough question. Are we, are we out of Sky Island now? Okay. Any hints available? Yep. Because I gave you instructions and you haven't done them yet. He's done, he's done uh, something else completely and you found this guy. I don't, know what, I don't know what the corruption is, so I'm going to have to go... Uh. Yeah, you do. Know, well, if you, if you zoom your map out, what do you see immediately to your right? Just some caves. What colour are the caves? Deep purple. What, co what do we call deep purple caves? I have no idea. That's the corruption. Right. So, who does not have 400 health, and how much do you have? 300. I have 340. 300. <laughs> I mean, I'm good at finding life crystals, right? I'm not that good. Um, ladies, where would you like doors, chairs, and that sort of thing where I've nicked from the uh, sky island? That's really blood roses. Say again? Blood roses. Uh, he's got some cosmetic stuff from Sky Islands. Uh, I have no idea. Uh, and Max, what I said to you is run over the blood rose and just chuck them at her and let her decide. That's what I do when I go into yep. something. I just chuck them at you. I mean, uh. Gosh, are these all from crates? Fishing crates, yeah. Ice Got ice skates in one. <gasps> I need ice skates, that's that's one of my upcraft items. Yes. I also have a blue bear and she's not showing me shit. Wow, I swear, I've been filling up these crates and then I go back and they're half empty again. I'm helping, I'm cleaning you out <laughs> so that I can put stuff away. Um, I've just been selling uh, okay. all the merchant and buying arrows with it, that's, that's the plan, right? Excellent. Your seething anger is all I needed to know as a response. <laughs> oh dear. You upcraft lesser mana. Um, I could have dug up that. That was Sam. Oh no, of course, the Sam told me he wouldn't have been real sand, would it? You're so right. I've just, I've just bounced up the chat to my, uh. Come on, fairy. Show me something. No one's been here, boy. There must be loads of stuff everywhere.
Have you got any good plans for the weekend then? Yep, gonna play foot golf. Sorry. Yes, exactly. That sounds like disc golf, but much more rubbish. Uh, I don't know what disc golf is, I don't know what foot golf is. I think we have to go and find it. Well, you know what golf, well, foot golf is just where you play golf, but they don't give you any clubs, you could use your face. Um, disc golf is, is like golf, but with frisbees, and it's awesome. You can find that a really, like it. You can find a, a good disc golf course, it's just amazing. You, you, you know, you're just throwing very brightly coloured frisbees um, through forests. I managed to get a hole in one around the corner. It was amazing. Um, that was the only thing I did that was impressive that whole day, though. <laughs> <laughs> There's quite a lot of disc golf stuff around the UK. Oh crap, I've just set my spawn point to be in the desert, desert, uh, desert bed. The bed's in the other place. Oh yeah, we Somewhere. should definitely get a jungle bed. Another fairy pistol. Oh, that's actually just gone left. I'm coming, fairy, I'm coming. I've seen fairies all the time. Can you get boy fairies? I don't know. Killed in Fern Gully. Yeah, I was just thinking about that movie too. Movie Fern Gully. Boy fairies. Literally never heard of it. Well, I think I might have heard of Fern Gully. I, I, vaguely, if you said that, I might think of The Land Before Time. Wasn't the main character that called Fern Gully? Fern Gully was after that one. Wait, is it in the same series though? On Disney animated videos, probably. No, uh. No, Don, uh, uh, Don Blake. Land Before Time was, a uh, uh, Blue. Don Blue? Is that. Do, do you know the Don Blue the arcade games? Yes. We've got them at the arcade. Oh, so, uh, oh nice. We've got them. On the laser disc? By Don Blue. The cabs are signed. Ooh. What's the one signed by you? Yeah. I keep wanting to lacquer it, but like I'm a bit worried I might ruin the signature of the lacquer. It was on the gold pen, you know, 20 years ago. He's dead now. But yeah, signed by Don Bloth, and we've got um, uh, Defender and Stargate, all signed by Eugene Jarvis. We just got Dragon's Lair 2 as well, um, which is um, very nice. Um, and I want to be particular because we actually have a we have a, a blue um, blue ray laser spare with a scarf socket, which was apparently unheard of. So we should have one of the nicest um, dragon bear too. Dragon's lair, by the way, is utter shit. <laughs> it's, it's one of those sort of you can get it on the Wii, you can, you can buy it on DVD, and you can still play it. It's utterly terrible. And there was a PC version. By Don Blue Studios called Red Dead 13, which was much better, is they didn't feel the need to make the difficulty quite so punishingly ridiculous. Okay, I finally finished opening up all those crates. I'm helping move it all. Good God. <laughs> oh no, there's still some wooden ones. No. It would be nice if the game actually gave you some better tools other than quick sacks to actually manage your chest, wouldn't it? Well, I mean, there's the ones when you don't have something open, where it's the two things above the bestiary and the, the emotes. Yeah, but what I mean, it'd be nice to say, to mark a chest as this chest takes um, crafting materials, or this chest takes weapons. You don't, you can quicksack to it, but it'll quicksack any weapons that you've got, rather than just ones that you've already got in there. So you could preset, right. you could organise a chest, you know, pre-organise it. Yeah, Bloodrose and I were actually talking about that the other day. I mean, a bit uh, like uh, World of Warcraft. How it would be yeah. nice if we could like use the, the wiring system in the game to set up a sort of logic sorting of chat. Uh, yeah, that sounds way more complicated than it needs to be. Just, just say, this one's for herbs. Weapons is probably a bad idea, but, but um, for most sort of common things, they fall into a category. 
I mean, I, to be fair, I haven't looked at the conveyors. I, I don't think they're much more complicated than you can use the funnel stuff to you during certain events. So. They, 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 they put conveyors in the game? Yes. It's a hard There are so yes. many items for followers. What is this? I know, right? So many what? It's this, who needs this much tartar sauce? How are you playing a different game? Uh, followers. That's these damn the fishing crates. The item to get crates. followers is called tartar sauce. Can anyone translate from American to English, please? It's a pet. What, what's a pet? It summons a, a tiny minotaur. I'm with you so far. Hey, you got that orb behind you? That's a follower. That's a pet. Well, that's sure, that's a different on. one. Because you can have one that's that's a light source uh, that's a light and one pet. that's not. Right, I, I'm still with you all the way. Carry on. Then you just started mentioning tartar sauce, like a mint. One of the items. Yeah, <laughs> one of the ones is tartar sauce that summons a mini minotaur. Than a shadow orb or my baby shark. <laughs> Everyone has sharks except me. I'm gonna have to grab a drink. Come back in a sec. There's like three more. Get one. Uh, we should probably. Yeah, I've got a useful pet. Ah. Uh. <laughs> uh, we should probably think about having a go at the queen bee if we've all got more health than we had previously. Um, I'm gonna go over there and make the arena a bit bigger. And I should get myself a drink first. Remember, people, you should hydrate. So, what you're saying is, I should go fish in the lava. Because <laughs> you know those shadow chests, right? I can get loot from those, from the crates that I get fishing lava. I don't have to be in hell to It's good stuff. If we spawn the bee, we all die. That bee's coming straight for you. Bingo! Tubes. Selling these, or half of them at least. you guys played Transport Tycoon to any degree? Yep, a little bit. Watched it played. Sorry Tab, what was that? Watched it played, but is it really my thing? Excellent, I feel we should play that then in a non-cooperative way. If um, played it. I, I like playing it cooperatively, but whatever. Um, I have a sky mill. Is that something worth getting excited about? I, I don't know. know. Lucky really horseshoe. Lucky okay. horseshoe. Well, that's good. Yeah. Negates all the to the balloon. You can put. You can equip that with a balloon and a cloud in a bottle to make a lucky cloud in a bottle. We have lots of the both. Yeah. 
Yeah, I, I really like Transport Tycoon. It's one of the ones that is definitely on the list to play. Uh, the fun thing is, if you run a server and just leave it go, this, it takes exactly like 24 hours to simulate the 100 years the game runs over. So it's one. Of, it's very interesting. It has a, it has a fixed duration. And you have to do the best you can within the uh, 100 hours, uh, tw um, 24 hours. So next question: You said the queen bee enrages when she leaves a um, hive. I think when she makes it up into no, the it's, air. It's when she leaves the jungle, jungle biome. Like jungle signs, they're horrendous. Yes, they're not nice, and you're poisoned. And I'm for 30 seconds. Yeah, they are just nasty. Oh, did Shalkara uh, leave us for the evening? Sure. I did notice. It's pretty this game didn't have more keys. You got sh B for buff, H for health, shift for smart place. But I would like, for instance, a platform key. I make a lot of power, but I don't have to really want to get my engine in my hot bar. Given this is, you know, pretty much a PC game, it's a bit surprising that they didn't go, hey, um, people have got 107 keys in their keys, maybe we should let them use more than whatever it is, seven. Now, given that I am planning on writing a homage and homage a homage and homage to Trunk and Tycoon. I should probably play it through again as well. Um half question time. Is that all the Sky Islands? Well, so far they haven't given us anything worth having, I don't think. Uh, you just want the Daedalus bow, don't you? Um, if you go walk left, just walk left, and there's it like a hill with a. You come back to a hill. Yep. Say something. Oh, yes, I'm on the hill. Yes, I'm right, on the hill, yeah. To go to the next hill, and that's the last one. Yeah. I, I can't think of what it is. I haven't been up there, so I haven't mapped stuff, so I can't tell. What I really want is a rain cloud. I got very, very good at using rain clouds. So to get a rain cloud, I, I pre call dibs. No problem. No. Ah, Shaka's on to play Overwatch. They have a special <laughs> uh, event on at the moment. Ah. Oh, by the way, you fall fast when you put on the, um, the slime mount. Oh, cool. So if you want to fall quicker, put the slime mount on, you'll fall faster. Jump higher, fall faster. And also, you float on water as well. Jump higher, kill mobs and jump on them. Slime mount's my favourite. I like the unicorn. It's very fast, actually. Let's actually bounce on the mobs. <gasps> yeah, I was doing okay, like Mario. I think loads of damage to destroy it by bouncing. So it can't hurt you. Like normally you get hurt if you bounce it to destroy it. But if you bounce it on a mount, all it does is just take some health off the mob, off the boss. Not much, but a bit. The point is you can keep doing that for it's much more sustainable as a well, as a and, <laughs> and you can, 
and you can keep shooting, like while you're bouncing, right. you're also shooting. Yes, indeed. So we, we all have at least 300 health, there's only not just 300. I'm struggling to keep my life on. Okay, but if you were at full health, how many health would you be? 300 exactly. 300. Oh god, no, I only have 4 hearts, not 10. I'm hoping these Sky Islands, Sky Islands are going to give us something worth having because at the moment the last couple have been absolute rubbish. Well, that's, uh, that's our Risk and reward, I suppose. Did I just see a gold salamander? Um, if you stand in the liquid honey, you get quicker health regeneration. So, a gold salamander, uh, baby, shoot it. No, it fell down the elevator and despawned. Uh, That's unfortunate. It's probably rare. I. Weights, one on my D key, and one on my mouse. It's a macro, it's like I don't have to just sit here mashing D and mouse, but I just make my hands heavy. There we go. Just close my eyes, and in 20 minutes, look back and I'll find a tunnel where the monster map will die. And then just, <laughs> then I'll, no, I'd, I would die and then do a tunnel all the way out of the base, wouldn't I? Yeah, it's might know the girls as well. I think it would probably just be well, quite Yeah. That reminds me, not about annoying girls, uh, we should um, definitely put a bed in the jungle for the queen bee. So if you, or shall we rely on spawning a long way away? Or are we going to try and uh, use the creative comp mechanic that Esme is suggesting? Um, I'd like to try it. I mean, we can keep going, can't we? Keep trying if we do screw it up. So. Yeah, well, we've got more health. I mean, that definitely will help. Why I am being for the right. Can we summon the queen bee as often as we want, or is it just once per hive? They'll make the summoning things out of honey, but each hive only has one naturally spawned one. Okay, and the summoning thing, is that free harbo? Is it feasible? You can craft it wherever you want. You know what it is. Be a beamination. Zooming off a uh, altar, just like all the others. Okay, that might be why I haven't seen anything. You gotta be very careful to make sure you leave yourself one altar so that you can... Yes. Well, in Max Mines game, we actually had an altar in our base. It was brilliant. Literally, like, five feet beneath the base. Perfect. Beautiful. Nice. Another hive here, anyway, because I guess I guess we will summon her out. But, but pretty much, though, yeah, um, when we get in contact with Queen Bee, if you drop low on health, you should run away. If she doesn't respawn, you should just butt leg it. Get your health back. Unfortunately, what we don't have is any um, banners uh, for any of the jungle stuff. We just have to fill them up. Uh, 
was that part I saw that I hallucinate? Um, it's also, liquid honey is also good, good if you have enough of it to give you diabetes. If you're prone to diabetes in the first place. Um, if you have enough sugar, you, you'll get it. Like, if you're prone to it, you can get it fairly easily. If you just have enormous amounts of sugar, you can get it regardless. I mean, just don't drink honey like, you know, by the time. I was about to say, that's like the word, that's like the most un-British thing I've ever heard. <laughs> what is? Drink honey by the pint. Eat all the honey. <laughs> yeah. Why? Drink honey by the pint. What? <laughs> what, what, what's wrong, what, what, I mean, I don't reckon you do drink honey by the pint, but, um... Oh. You what? would if you could. <laughs> why, why is that un-British? Because we don't do honey? We invented honey. No, because you love honey. <laughs> we do love it, but don't drink it by the pint. What? Half a glass of honey is fine for your breakfast. Yeah. Alright, so this one didn't have anything good in it either, apart from a star fury, and it wasn't even a. Um, didn't have a. Oh, a modifier on it. Ah, so it's okay. melee. Yeah, so, we've got some stuff for, for uh, things around again. Star fury. Oh, hey. Wow, the name thing is so broken. I've got Dr. Realism off the top of the screen and that's it. I am technically off the top of the screen. Yeah, no, no, no. Oh, I've just got coffee there. Have you thrown torches at me? No. They just drop sometimes. So, yeah. is that the end of the... Sky Islands now. I, I can't, I don't really know because obviously I haven't looked at any of them. Um, you've seen them, you think you've seen them all, yeah? I hope I have. We've got one, two, three, four, five, six. I don't know what the spacing is. But no, no, there's nine. Right, oh, okay. I mean, it's pretty much from the right to the left. It's one, two, three, gap, one, two, three, then one, two, three, increase space. Oh, that one, two, three. Oh, so, gap, gap. So it's a group of three on the left. The left-hand one is directly above the corruption on the, uh, the right side of the map. The right-hand one is just to the left of the final corruption on the right-hand side. That's how that has some parts. Thank you. Oh, here comes a fairy. Hey, fairy. You should also put down a campfire because you're about to die. Right, fairy's going up, we should go up. Well, there goes my campfire. <laughs> there's another... There you go, there's a heart. Medusa's head. I think that might be hard mode. No, it doesn't be hard mode. No. Um, and it spawns in a. Uh, where are Somewhere a little bit drier. So, oh, I see you have to zoom. Top down account. You, you now want to spend 17 seconds without what? Set the chance. Put down the campfire and stop moving. Your health regeneration goes up to two and a half times without moving. a full chest of health potions. We need to start drinking them. <laughs> oh, I see. 
What did I do? I was trying to carry a stack of 30 on me. Music's just changed. I don't recognize his B music. Leaving the jungle. The stone is telling us we're leaving the jungle. This phone's what I'm after. Oh, another one there. A fairy. Do you have any beds in the main base? They're not that hard to make, I think it's just wood that loom, I think. I need silk, which, I mean, we've got plenty of cobwebs, so, yeah, we've got plenty of... Oh, I'm doing good. Ah. Go back. Pink torches? I yeah, because I think I might have just accidentally crafted them. Thank you. As you do. Oh, the, the fair is going right. Through the cell. Yeah, alright, fairy, calm down. Oh, treasure chest. Angry band regeneration. And Chief was looking at. Again? Was what the fairy was looking at. Yeah, I don't know. Do you want the banner? I can't do carry anymore. And there's also an angry eye, a suspicious eye. Oh no, this um, this pink stuff does seem to be potentially naturally occurring. A two by two vertical shafts. <laughs> So I have, we haven't seen a what are they called? They're like a um a, a, like a gem bio. We haven't seen one of those yet, have we? That's what the geodes were. Yeah, but I don't think we've seen one. They've they got like a different background, they're really, really, really pretty. Are they? Uh, I don't think we've seen one. I don't think the scorches are uh, waterproof. Wait, just drain all the water to the right a sec, and then go left. Just fished up a demon conch. Conch is stats, or...? No, it's like the, it's like the, the ocean one. I think it probably teleports me to hell. Well... Let's see if I can fish up more. It's quicker than sinning. Oh, Tad. Purposely trying to get down there without drowning it. There, could you just stick to the left and just flood out all this water? Oh, here we go. Oh. So I just drain the water to the left. There we go, done. Now we can uh... Yeah, it's got like eerie music, but I don't know what it's supposed to represent. It might be the fact we're in the marble biome. Yeah. You guys hurt, by the way. <laughs> yeah, they do. Generis, yeah. The hoplites? A lava absorbent sponge. This way, tap. Now, I'll admit I'm not a biologist, but I'm pretty sure that a lava absorbent uh, lava absorbent sponge would catch fire really quickly. I can, I can understand the logic of that. Uh, yeah, that's actually where we want to go already. 
was just digging up marble. <laughs> Amber tree. Still looking for more health, by the way. Is the there a marble biome? Yes. Ow. But it's, they're only small, but Medusas can spawn in marble biomes. The game recognizes as being in marble biome. Oh, it's a yo yo to the right. Rally? Yeah, we've definitely been there. We just chucked it. <laughs> oh, right, well, we do have two other rallies. <laughs> let's see if we're getting excited. Yeah, they went nuts on the yo yo cross promotion in this, didn't they? It's a cool idea, and they yeah, did but, it really well, yeah, but, but they, they just didn't add a lot. Well, they got into bed with a yo-yo manufacturer, and you can buy the Terraria yo-yos in real life. Really? Yeah, they, that's cool. They're, they're, the yo-yos are all real in this. They're, they're, they're made by a, um, by a yo-yo manufacturer. I didn't know that. That's really kind of cool. It is. It's like yo-yo just one more time. up there. Um, killing the stuff still in the juice the spot. Oh, is that what we're after? Uh, well, just vaguely. I thought I'd also make the floor of this flat so I can actually run back and forth that thing. Really uh, hang on, let me get the water out of here. This side. To the Medusa, she can drop an item, a, a special mirror that means you can fight her without getting frozen. Like, you know, stone. And that's where a pet's very good because even if you can't kill her, she will um, pet you. Know, good job. But yeah, I'm sure this music must mean marble by him. Yeah, I didn't think it got the music because it's a minor edition. What's that minor edition, sir? It's a biome. That it was in the graphite biome. It was at 1.3. It's all about the uh, backing, isn't it? It's all about the um, yeah. walls. Crap. Yeah, these are <laughs> Now, how dense and packed most of the stuff is in this game. Like, there's just room after room after, you know, after biome, after, after change. It's just constant. It really is. To be fair, it does take quite a long time to spawn a map, but it's, it's genuinely very impressive quality of the generation. Although it wasn't very always, pink torches. I like it. The other one? I guess that's the. I'm not sure quite how the generation works in this game, but it keeps a certain number of mobs alive around you. I was going to avoid the game with the campfire there. Eight of them. <laughs> These guys drop pizza for my new favorite mob. Um, 
Really? What about the chicken nuggets that drop from the harpies? It's cute, but pizza. It's a pepperoni pizza. What about the hot dogs that drop from the bone worms? The what, sorry? Hot dogs. Not they seen drop that. hot dogs. Tasty. And it makes so much sense because it's a, it's, it's a long worm in the. Uh, where do we want to put the sky? mill? is that? We already have a sky mill, don't we? It's up there. We have a sky mill and a honey one and a demon one as well. Fine, I'll just dump this in the sky with chest. So when did they make it so the sky chests were no longer locked? Locked? Um... Yeah, they used to be- they, you used to have to get golden keys to unlock them. The sky boxes? Just, just for the chest, just for the dungeon. Yeah. Well, yeah, but they used to be locked. I mean, I can still load up one of my old worlds and they're still locked on that old world. I don't know them. Bad. In fact, we have played Dungeon Famous again, the same way because my arm needed to play a pad based game for the evening. Yeah, yeah. There is a spawn cap. Oh yeah. There is. It's something like nine or something. And something like a a water candle or a battle potion increases it by so much. Um, tough questions. So I've been ho hoovering up all the gear out of the Sky Islands. Um, Gravity Banner, World Banner, and Sun Banner. Do they have any positive effects for us They're at all? just they do nothing. They're just aesthetic. Uh, uh, just actually, aesthetic. guys, I think you'll find you're wrong. Gravity Banner triples all damage against gravity. Just like we've learned this. <laughs> <laughs> Javelins are very good against the uh, Eater of Worlds as well. Drop their armor? Huh? Drop no. their armor. Oh, there's a nymph. Uh, metal detector. They drop an item. Item. So she did. A there. Okay, have a seal mushroom. Display some gold. It's so useful at the beginning of uh, hard mode, though. Oh my god. No. No, not hard. I'm sorry, essence of darkness. Like you might feel an essence of evil. It's, just, it's the same, but she's just just naughty. It's not the evil. Just sky dude. Just playful. Petty, bureaucratic. Wow, that really did bug out. What the uh, markers? No, the uh, <laughs> I dropped a beehive and it span and span and span. Ah. 
See, I remember in, in a previous playthrough map, we couldn't move the fucking reducers. It was a nightmare. Yeah, they weren't very nice. <laughs> but they, they drop a fantastic multi-target item. Like, really, really, really good. I'm just like, what well, the reason I'm, I'm digging up this, I'm trying to maximize the amount of tiles that um, we can spawn. Oh, it's another nymph here. Yes. She can't get to me. Perfect. I don't know if you want to dig up that tree or not. It's a special one, a special um, gem trees again. Amber. I just left them on the basis. Oh my god, she just dropped like 20 gold. Yeah. And Good. Oh, sweet. Another metal detector? That's cool. Amazing. Part of the cell phone. Oh. Yeah, well, actually, part of goblin tech. Metal detector, stopwatch, DPS beat. What goes to the cell phone? Can you memorize oh, eventually, it? yeah. Have a little post it note on your desk. Sorry, what? Have you memorized it or have you got a little post it note on your desk? Uh, I have uh, my note up on screen as we speak. Ah. You know, you're saying I should get another monitor? I've got another two monitors. Just post it notes. No, I got no two monitors. You can do both. Yeah, I have post notes as well. Like, um, to type the degree symbol, you press Alt 2 for it. I usually just Google and then copy the degree symbol. Yeah, it doesn't work when you haven't got a keyboard thing. You've got a. Yeah, whatever. True. Uh, Pretty I, stupid. Oh, don't, 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 uh. Oh, no, yeah, flood the water down there. That's cool. What's this, uh, what's this thing you're doing here, Pat? What is that? Connecting the two marbles. Oh, right, so people without rocket boots. Okay, that's fine. Well, rocket boots aren't going to get you the whole way. Oh, really? That's what you said to the rocketeer, and nothing happened there. Astroneer? No, rocketeer, the film. Uh, got a glider. I tried to patch up a bullet hole with a piece of bubble gum and exploded. I'll be honest. We have almost 700 javelins. Jesus. Uh, save them for the Destroyer of Worlds. Um, as me, I suspect that uh, you have seen that film a lot more than I have. Um, last time I saw it was around the time it came out. And you can remember that he patched up bullet holes with chewing gum. With a wad of bubble gum, yep. Something about that, it was his favorite gum. And it was one of those brands that just, it disappeared way, way, way back then, and never came back. Oh, uh, was it actually like sponsored gum? Probably. It might have come back like briefly just because of the film. Oh, of course, because it would have all set in the 50s or whatever, wasn't it? Yeah. I, I don't remember much about it. I saw it in the cinema. Honestly, I it's like it. the, the, I remember there being like a, a clove flavored version. So, because of the microphone, you see, what I heard was a clothes favorite flavored version. Like, uh, but clothes, the work of a TH machine. Yes. Oh, you don't have any room for that detector. Not at the moment. I can make some room for it, though. It's corruption torches. Gillard torch. Call potions can go away. Oh, yeah, we can save this I don't need recall potions anymore. This is very true. Shouldn't you be trying to make a biome specific torch? For that arbitrary luck? Well, if you can tell me what uh, what torch goes into a um, marble biome. 
Uh, oh, I thought I've got it up on the screen. Uh, a boned yeah. anywhere except snow. Yeah, probably. But also... Yeah, bone there. torch, I think, but they're only purchased. Traitor man. Hmm? Oh. The traitor here. He just spawned right here. A torch. <laughs> right there. Amazing. <laughs> <laughs> the amazing. game hurt us. A green counterweight. Already bought one. First year yo yo's. There is no point to the colors. Oh, well. I thought they had to have a matching. They're, they're all the same. Oh, okay. Torches. Uh, torch locks into pro torches at 42 players. So you have to put one every 42 players. Uh, I, I'm not necessarily sure it will make a difference, but you know, it won't power up. It'll make a difference of 0 0.5, whatever the fuck that means. That'll be 5% on the rolls. That doesn't help us with the issue, which is we don't have um, a heart. Uh, let me just check a second. Best for me. Oh, we haven't banned the juice yet, so I can't. Filter, um, the hello, surface mushroom, goblin invasion, jungle. And what I should do is I should go and, uh, figure out where the hell I put those, uh, clams and, and open them up for the pearls to make some luck potions for Um, the only two things that can spawn in the marble biome are hot plates and question mark, which will be the producers. I love the way that the, all of the luck stuff is literally just the code checks with it. Like, there's no in game, apart from the blue, there's no in game indication at all. I mean, it's, there's a luck quotient in Dungeon Master, which affects those things, but at least there you get a lucky rabbit's foot that specifically says increases luck. Not vague things about guessing what kind of torch you have to place. I might like a very stern tweet. <laughs> what have you found? Life crystal. And look at that, there's a life crystal. Awesome. Um, as it's getting a bit late, we think about putting a bed in the jungle, next to the jungle pylon, and then having a go at the bee. And by that I mean killing her, not just shouting abuse at her. Could do both. Yes, you can do I don't. I don't know of anything I can say to a bee. I mean, this is what he's confused about Warcraft. It's like, you know, here you are, a human warrior, and you're fighting the undead Lich King, and you can shout some sort of taunt that means he comes and punches you. Like, what, and what do you say to a dragon? Like, what is it you say? Oi! I don't think it was a boy. Maybe it's I hate honey, it tastes like shit. Ugh. Oh. Oh, you got to be kidding me. Is there anything we want from the Blood Moon? Well, more money troughs. If I can get fishing, if... if if I fish during it, I can get some special mobs to suddenly spawn. They have, from what I can tell, an increased chance to drop the money. Well, that's There's no information on the wiki about it because I guess being, nobody's doing it. I'm putting my money away. To be fair, this is still a non-hard mode. Um, Blood Moon. So my uh, pet is going to be 
Anyway. He's more than welcome. <laughs> Surprisingly, it's not hot about me in music. Put that up. Oh, we don't have one. Amazing. Um, I can't actually see it, but I am um, sort of. Oh, there it is. It didn't actually get into my inventory. I've got a jagged shackle, though. Broken the, the laser gun sound. It's so weird. It sounds like it's been sampled off. It's very, very, very lo fi. That went up. Yeah, alright. Thank you. It being the 50th one, I know we haven't got them many before. I'm having to start a new row of them now. Uh, I'm sorry, what? What, what? Did you just get killed by a goldfish? Apparently. Corrupt goldfish. Still a goldfish. But a corrupt goldfish. Well, nobody told it to go into politics. Nine. <laughs> Nine watts, sorry. Uh, Max, um, if you do get a bunch of make sure you put the corrupt goldfish um, banner down somewhere. Just got one. Okay, do you have any jungle spores on you? Me? Oh, actually, jungle seeds, jungle grass seeds. Spores. Also, the snow pollen is ready and the snow fort is done. Ice. Snow fort. Snow pylon. Because his laser gun is piercing and I can shoot it with dead straight. It's very easy to kill. Like long rows of zombies. It's fun. Is there a way to identify a brook or an item? I guess it's a map. There's a banner here. I don't know what the banner is for. Oh, great. On the map, it just says banner. Whoa, what was that? Oh. Fireball! Okay, I'll, yeah, that just shot past me and I'm like, uh, I don't know what that is. Thank <laughs> you. 
Um, can somebody craft a bed then? While I'm running around, I'm going to go to the pop in the jungle house. Or go to sleep in the jungle. Bed cloth. There's some in good stuff, I believe. There's no, that silk. Yeah, that's that's it. Fair preference for the color of the bed. Um, as long as it's big enough so I don't have to be the big spoon and the little spoon simultaneously, I'm not fussed. You need cloth? But I appreciate you going to the extra to give me silk bed sheets. It's, uh, I remember that one. <laughs> I have slept on silk bed sheets a few times, and if you get into bed too enthusiastic, you slip on the white out of the side. No, satin, satin. If you get into bed too enthusiastic, you just slip all the way up and just flunk off the edge of the bed. Killer old bed. It's a bit like sleeping on a bed made of WD-40, which incidentally is the only <laughs> essential oil that I trust. <laughs> can I teleport during this nonsense? Yes. It can! I've mostly Putting the know, bedroom Tad, with the dry the red team. Yeah. I'm not. Not what? You're not on the red team. You're not on the red team. Oh. Oh. Hi, there's the castle here, and the bride. No, our barking. Uh, if anybody wants the wedding dress, it's just right here. Yeah, we just had one drop over here. Put it in the vanity chest. I can jump from air dash. Cool. That could be nice. Money trough is what you were talking about, isn't it? Yes, it is. Cool, we've got one here. It's very handy. Well, yeah, because it... Oh, I'm going to have to put it in my energy to use it. Oops. <laughs> I do like our ice castle. Um, I worry that you've watched Frozen one too many times there. Literally never watched it. I should probably let it go. Wait, oh, how, oh, oh. how do I spawn? <laughs> just, just sleep down. That's it. No sleep in no oh, you got to click on it. It'll say. It, it'll it say spawn it. set. Mm. I click on it at the bottom of the bed rather than the top. That your oh, cursor sorry. doesn't have the triple keys. Oh, silly me. No. It's real intuitive. Look, I'm wedding dressed. Oh, I'm fighting the bee. Oh, man, this is cool. Wedding dress. Oh, the, the ice castle. Uh, 
Um, does the queen bee require the underground jungle? You know, or just in the jungle? That's to do. something I'll have to look up. Right, that's literally the joke I made. You can't just steal my joke and repeat it. If one of my own come back, I get it from your mother's mouth. Uh. I don't get to use that line enough. Oh, uh, that's fantastic, but... Uh. <laughs> I, I can't accept I didn't come up with it, so... It's flooding everything. The other one I like is, um, we, well, it's when I'm working. I'm working here. Like, I don't come to you. I don't interrupt me when you're working, do I? I don't come down to the dock and slap all the sailors' cocks out of your mouth. <laughs> <laughs> That's God. crazy. Quality jokes here. You can use, you can use all of these. I should probably it. make some more, um, warm malt potions. Friendly well, programming no, here. We've got a bed. So we don't need the warm potions for the boss. We don't need the potions for any boss. We've just got the beds for a thing. So don't worry about the warm potions. Other things, yes. Like, All right. Discord is going bananas. Why? I mean, hear sense? it. No? I hear the messaging. Mm, no. Uh, Someone's doing message patrons only. Uh... Don't know why you heard it though, they added me. So I now have Dr. Realism and Dr. Realism's face literally on top of my character. So I can't see myself, I can just see the fact that Dr. Realism, who incidentally is nowhere fucking near. It's half the screen out, that's what it is. Dr. Realism should be in the far right and he's in the middle. I can't believe they balls that up quite so much. <laughs> About a sternly worded letter? <laughs> no, it's a sternly worded tweet. What year do you think it is? I can't be stern in 140 letters, I am failing. <laughs> But yeah, um, I don't have any more hearts to give out, so mostly if we just begin to assemble... Now, have three. You should keep them, unless you're at max, in which case Both. you should. Then you should keep them, and it's soon what we just will meet at the bed. <laughs> the communal bed that we're using. Put it in the right room. What, the bed? Yes. That poor lady lives in a bed set, so we've just invaded her house and we're just sleeping in her bed, all of us. <laughs> Didn't have a bed until we started I mean, getting into town. Well, us invading her house has enriched her life greatly. I like the way they did make a point, um, specifically, that cosmetic items don't affect happiness at all. So you'd think we would have to provide more than one light source, one table, one chair. For someone to be happy. The size of the building counts, though. Um, I don't think it does. As long as it's a building, but it, it's just location and proximity to other people seems to be the only real factor. Oh wait, you're right. Yeah. Overall size. Uh, although they will comment on the size of the building. I guess it just doesn't matter in the actual calculations. Um, is it a, are there any statues we should look out for? I mean, do we? As far as I know... Statues and star statues. 
What statues and star statues? And star. If we find a slime, so much the better. Slime statue. Right. Slime statue I know about. And heart. And star. And star. I'm basically just chopping a huge hole through the dunk through there, just looking for more hearts. Other than that, when you've all finished your current tasks, if you can uh, assemble it. Um, Dryad's house? Yeah, I and mean, really what you need is a well-fed buff and a regeneration potion, and then don't die. I, I think we'll do it. Now we know that um, the boss doesn't despawn. And we know that we can kite it, and we've got conch shells. Well, I have conch shells. We need, well, we technically need one broken conch shell. We need to pop it if it looks dangerous for them. Although, to be fair, yeah, I mean, then one person will be the conch shell, and then the queen bee will probably take 30 seconds to fly across the map. And by that point, people have respawned. So you fly over, kill the conch shell person, and then teleport back. And everybody will be ready. Hopefully. Yeah. Wedding dresses scampered off to one of these. I just found an ancient cable breastplate. It's not very good in terms of defense, but it increases maximum mana by 20 and 4 increased magical crit chance. Bothered? It's nice, it's equivalent to the jungle armor. It's actually interchangeable with. I thought cobalt was an actual tear. It is, but the ancient cobalt is ancient. pre hard mode. Is a set of cobalt armor? Yes. Okay, so that probably is worth keeping then. So jungle armor, what's that from? Let's see the jungle. You just make it out of uh, vines, thorns, and um, anyone have any gold um, ores? Only in the chest. Um, Alalia is telling me how nice it is to be so far away from people. She's literally six and a half feet from the painter. He doesn't count. Oh, okay. He's not people. Gotcha. Am I a person? I think this archer answered that quite a long time ago. Yes. Did he? Wasn't he that he's the one that said, I am what I am? No, he said, I think therefore I am. Thinking is proof that you exist. You said, I am what I am. That would be Popeye. Yeah, wasn't it Descartes that said, I am what I am? It's like, no, that was Popeye the Sailor Man. Yeah, Descartes principles, I think, therefore I am. Um, Shakespeare said to, to do is to be, to be is to do, and Sinatra said do, 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 I think it was. So in the in-game chat a few minutes ago, there was a um, mention that said hearts, and then life crystals, and then something else, which gives you health. Life what fruit. was it? Was something else? No, after life fruit. The life fruit takes it to 500. That's it, as far as I'm as far as I've ever got. The 
something past life through it, I've never seen it. I am at the hive that we will be breaking. You are all where? I make these more jungle spores. Most I think our plan should be spread the hell out. Just come back to the base to dump all my goodies off. Of a jungle spore, I would appreciate it. It's just jungle grass seeds, I'm afraid. I can't seem to figure out what I did with my armor cape. If you know who can help you. This is like a friend of mine, she messaged me on Facebook saying, Adam, I'm late for work. Right, and I can't find my socks. I'm like, why are you messaging me? <laughs> this is why you're gonna have to just overcome yourself, my friend um, I believe in you. We all believe in you. I've got the sneaking suspicion that I put it where I had put my lava hook in my bait chest on my fishing rod. And I don't know why I would have done that. There's a demon conch here in the bottom of this lava bucket. I don't know why they're in yeah. this chest, but they are. Did you try the demon conch? I haven't no. even tried it. I, I just fished them up. I, I vote Max puts on the demon conch and blows it. Without equipping the magic mirror. Well, it just takes it straight to hell. Fortunately, onto a platform that is actually not suddenly going to die. It's oh, the bottom of the elevator, actually. Oh, well, there that's go. pretty good. Plan B. Well, you can grab it. I mean, Esme's got a con. I've got a con. That means the three of us can leg it to. Be fair, the game is much wider than it is tall. Um, but yeah, the goal is just to teleport away, get the beta, hopefully follow you at that point, and then other people get to spawn and drink a potion, and then leg it away from the spawn, and then we'll take her out that way. Because of course we're spawning in the jungle, so you can just run. She shouldn't enrage. She, was she enraged? Is she unenraged? She goes back to the jungle. I wonder. That I don't know. Sorry, when I say unenraged, sure. I mean calm down. Tell me what you meant. Question. Go on. I don't have one. You said you did, you went, question. And the match would go on, oh. and you, you went, no. Didn't hear any of that. Wow, what is going on? <laughs> you, you said question. Scored. That is a good question. Ah, uh, we didn't get that as a good. Uh, jungle spores. Yes, I can make the yo yo. Well, our followers are supposed to be pets, our followers are supposed to be the um, boring, don't do anything pets. pets. Then, yeah, you've got followers, light pet, and summons. Pets, I just didn't do it right. And in the round box, because they already made a... ...for a box for it. But are we that ready? I'm kind of just wondering if we could be going up there, just, just digging to that, hoping to get some banners by down there. It's just holding me back from uh, beginning the boss fight. Other than 
you know, have a second bed and you know, what thing about it is my new yo yo. Oh, I'd have just teleported the pylon. <laughs> you could take the pylon where you need to go. Mahogany. Which we have? This one up here? Um, the, there's a big one up and right, quite away from you. Alright. So that, that is a, a nice big one. I haven't got into it yet, so I don't know how we want to arrange the. Uh... Oh, I can't. There's a block here, I can't dig it up, aren't there? Oh, there's a tree of some sort under it, a special tree. I don't, I don't know what it is. Oh, life crystal detected nearby. I'm not sure how that's the most most precious metal we've got nearby, but hey, I'm not going to complain. I can't see on the map where you're going or aiming to go to. I can see the current hive. Okay, Where's uh, the. Go down. Just go down into the cave beneath you. Okay, just straight down and then just right and then you, should, you can't miss it. It's enormous. Yep, just keep going, keep going right. No, that's left. Yeah, up diagonal. Oh, right. thank you. Right, 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 right. I'll just find this life crystal. two more. I'll find this life crystal and I will come join you. Ah, oh, wicked. Uh, I think I've had the start of it. Uh, yep, yeah, that's the one. It's enormous. We just have to be careful not to. I'd love to actually summon the boss. There's a bed down here somewhere. Oh, there's a bed. Oh no, the the bed's in the um, junk. The, the right by the pylon. Yeah, I've already done that one by accident. Oh, yeah, that's the, that's that's where we spawn. Because remember, we don't need to be near each other. In fact, we don't want to be near each other. Right. Uh. screwed up that display is. So, in the middle of my screen is now just covered in your Well, oh, I'm wondering if it's the camera mode. Camera so mode. So, press escape, yep. and across the top you've got equipment, housing, camera mode. Yeah. Click that, and it yep. gives you a different cursor that you can actually choose where the camera is. And that may have something to do with it, I think. Could be just talking about my ass. I don't know for certain, but I think that screws things up. I'll click reset for it. Well, no, I think we're all screwed up, aren't we? I mean, where am I on your map, on your display? Like, what 932 like? feet. What the, okay, am I in the right direction? It should be north Up and to the... yes. Okay. Now, let, me just, let me just put the picture in Discord. So you guys are all massively southeast for me, but that is what I'm seeing. It's out by 50%. I'm in the middle of my screen. Yeah. 
Careful. Right, mate, that's a bug. There's no way that's ever on purpose. You're all so if you're on the if you're on the far right, you're in the middle of my screen. If you're in the middle, you're in the far left. And if you're on the far left, I'm pretty sure you're in the middle of the screen. Those jungle spikes are horrendous. Yep. Uh, Blood Rose, are you going to come and join us? We are just about ready to go. Birdies. The birds, too? No, just the bees. Okay. If you don't like them, if you don't want to run the bees, you can just go, ah, no, no, not the bees, all the way through. I guess it doesn't matter though, because we, we don't need to rejoin with each other. All we need to do is fight the Queen Bee wherever. Um, and um, I'm sure we've got our conch shell so we can disappear a long way away if we're the only person left. Garrett, now is not the time. What the fuck, Garrett? Perfect time. Let's just sort of let some of the destroyer of worlds and make it do it in the base. That'll teach him. <laughs> so what are you just get in here somewhere? Uh, yeah, do we wanna don't break that thing in the middle. Oh you are joking me. Okay, did the thing. Off my grapple? Those are water bolts. Water bolt. So if you can't get through these pilot networks, so my home is set, uh, yeah, unhelpfully, that's what my home is set for. Oh, I think you slept in the bed, that was the part of the landing nope. stage. Oh. Sorry, I couldn't find it. We've got it halfway. It's, it's literally right next, damn it. It's literally right next to the um, pylon. Oh, we are almost all dead. Alright, why don't we go look? It doesn't matter because if she will leave the biome. I'm responding in 19 seconds. Um, Horror Box, this is kind of a, a collection of people we, we always take together. Um, I mean, no disrespect to who you are. And so it's kind of one of those games that try and avoid uh... random too much. I'm sure you're lovely, but uh, you might not be. Right, so I'm back in the jungle and I'm standing still so my health is coming back as quickly as I can. Ah, oh, my... Right, I'm back in the I'm back in the jungle. Anyway, once you've got your 17 seconds to, that it takes for your um, health to come back at full speed. Um, your health then generates your health more quickly. Not really. Cut 
how much health Esme has got. <coughs> Quarter health. Perfect time for our travelling merchant to arrive. I'm still taking health back, by the way. 340, 350, 360. And the moment I move, it ticks back so slowly. Right, I'm back to full health. I'm on my way. I'm so annoyed at the grapple. I apologise profusely on behalf of the people who program this game. Like, Moment I show up. It's like fuck Tad. Hear you. Oh, yeah, we meant to place a heart now. I forgot what I would have, but uh, I don't know about me. Yeah, that was funny. As we know, I fucking get into it. Just like, 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 get in first. So rude. <laughs> Five Isma. Just carrying us so hard. <laughs> Potion as soon as you can. Um, I have oh. increased the mob rate, I think. There's more mobs now? No, um, uh, that means that mobs uh, animate smoother. Ooh. But, um, that's the key area, at least. And that's what they wanted it to be. Well, it increases the, the data rate. It's just, a, it's just um, why it's not uh, just a slider on the server, why I have to set some obscure variable is beyond me. Uh, Blood, oh, Blood Rose this way. Yay. Hey, got a... Holy shit, I didn't I die! carried it so hard. That was all me. <laughs> well, no, you see, I, 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 I'd like to raise that with you, Tad. What happened is, Mia may have done the damage, and what happened, every time she got low in health, we returned, and the Queen Bee would ignore her, and then kill us. So I think if it was our brave and valiant sacrifice allowed her to just fireball a single bee to death. Plus, even if put jungle torches down, I assume the right ones. Oh! Those should be the right ones, yeah. Um, should there be a pile of treasure, or is that not how this works? There's a treasure bag. You know what? Bag somewhere. All the right. I got one. Oh, no, I see it. Never mind. I'll get a bag. We should get a bee nade, bee shirt, bee wax. I've got a hive pack there, that's specific for me. Jagged honeycomb and a hive wand. Oh, and I've got the queen bee trade, which I presume is me or Did that drop there? Probably got that. The beehive trophy thing. Just for the ladies to put on display somewhere. Um, Al, um, Esme, in the top left, I've just chucked down a regeneration board. If that's an upgrade or improvement or useful to you in any way, shape, or form. Oh, that is useful, yeah. Oh, wait, no, I have one. It, I can get them from fishing snacks. <laughs> or from fishing chests. Oh, I got an yeah. Those are really useful for harvesting plants because it will yeah. force them to drop seed. Did everyone get a the bee's knees? No. I got a the bee's knees, uh, which is uh, a bow with 23 damage. Wooden arrows turn into a column of bees. Nice. The beekeeper. Bees whack, bee that aid. summons bees. Bee They're striking your foe. 
Oh right, and the Wild Hive Pack, which is the rare mode, expert mode, summoner boost. Yeah, so it's increasing the strength of friendly bees. Yeah, well, my... So you presume you're equipped with the Jagged Honeycomb. Or, or the Bee Nade, or the Summoning, or that bow. Yeah. What would I, what would I give up to use that? Ugh. It's not craftable into anything. I'd think they would make all the expert stuff into one big craftable expert monster pack, but... Too convenient. And there is another beehive not very far away. Should we kill another one then? If, if there is more loot, and then uh, call that a night. Should all have a few upgrades on that one. There's another beehive just down here. Uh, Max, if you take this opportunity to put your bed in the right place. We win. Oh, I've already done that. Oh, you've done that. Okay. Yeah, I've already done that. As me, you don't need to bother with it because uh, your your brain is perfect. Uh, empty my inventory real quick. That's fine. So you guys don't need to be anywhere near this, by the way. You can just go to the first beehive if you want. That's true. The one with a lot yeah, of platforms. Platforms, yeah. yeah. So that was cool. I thought I'm just gonna. There will be a very minor distraction just for a few seconds because I've just found a crystal. Right. Blood rose. I already, I already wrote it. There's nothing um, on either side. The rightmost sky chest here has uh, a load of um, stuff to uh, accessories, but, uh, stuff from sky. Uh, Tad, I've been stealing. Sorry, Tad, you are either a liar or incompetent. Which one would you like to be? Go that way. What's up? Well, first of all, it's enormous. Secondly, there was no torches. Uh. And thirdly, there were two two life hearts. Have any? There were two life hearts. More most importantly, two life crystals. Have any? Oh, bugger! No. There's, there's another life crystal there. Dang it! Oh, well. um, uh, you know what would help for that? Uh, not die. If we could get a giant hornet to drop a bazaar. Bazaar. Uh -oh. Yeah. Many. Oh, this is a party then, isn't it? It makes you immune to poison. Does anyone. Well, is that what all those balloons are? Um, do we know how to craft something, the life crystal? I can't remember what it needs. I know it needs hearts. It needs four chains. Ah, do we, do we, does anyone have any chains? I'm in the base, I can grab some. Yes, some in the there chest, are some but... in the. You could summon them, that'd be lovely, because then we'll put a. Oh, um, fuck. Hot that hot lantern. They're up here um, as me. Promotion DJ. It's about to be you too. Uh, before <laughs> um, compare the neighbor in my the, the moat in my neighbor's eye of first removing the plank from my own. I got stuck. Oh, that. Oh, that's me and I'm on the team. Yeah, she is. She's just back at the. Uh... It's like, oh, I see the. Uh... Oh, do you have it? It's in the chest to my left. Skyware chest to the left. To my left. Did you say to my left? Like, she might be facing the wrong way. <laughs> I don't have the heart. I... I've got the hearts. I don't have the chains. Oh, okay. I'm at the, the B place, which is where we should, should put them. Oh, okay. It can be crafted by hand, no need for stage. Wild as me appears. 
Rah. You were supposed to say she's super effective, and I'd be like, yeah. What was last time? I'm going to head back to the right now, and then I'll give you the car, and then I'll meet you back at the first murder place. Holy I saw a heart. Oh, cool. Oh, my. Jungle sweats are nasty. Also, healing because, yeah, those things. I mean, if you are waiting, feel free to clear around the, um, the, the yeah. hive, the beehive a little bit so less mobs can spawn. Um, and feel free to kill anything, so we, have, we don't have any book buffs and no banners, do we? We've no luck of banners yeah. and of souls, but uh... There you go. I'm even close enough to be able to. Uh, I hope you get that. In the, you should get that in the Queen Bee's base easily. Yeah, I'll be there shortly. The, remember the first Queen Bee one we did? As me, it will sort you out a life hunt, life hunt, life heart. Good thing about the bee queen bee fight is that if, when the bee's charging around, kills everything else in the area. Max, go and join the rest, and I will be along when I spawn the boss. Are we supposed to be spawning at this hive or no, the no, other hive? I'll spawn it at this hive, and you guys will what? be at the first hive, which has got a life heart. A life heart. Crystal lantern? My heart lantern? I just realized I left my star in a jar at the other hive. Well, uh, you go grab that. And, and the, but you've got the heart. Like you, should, you guys should have the campfire buff, the heart regen buff, and the mana regen buff. Soon, on the mana regen buff. By the way, there's a graveyard now and an anvil in it. It's to the left of the main base. Oh. So the guys who are in the right place, you have um, Man Eater and Hornet banner buffs. I saw someone got Hornet banner a few seconds ago. Have the Man Eater one, but not a Hornet. 
think Esmir got the banner, so hopefully she's just got it in her inventory. Yeah, I'm looking for it. Right or somebody else might have had it if you dropped it near them. So you don't have any spare life crystals. Yep. I need, if they're 20 each, I need three, please. I have three. I will give them to you as soon as the combat starts. Perfect. <laughs> Joy on the Hornet banner, it doesn't really matter if not. Yeah, put it down. Okay, and we've got Life Crystal, uh, Life Campfire, Heart, and Mana Buff, yeah? Yep, confirmed. Cool, I even got to shoot through the puzzle. <laughs> Watch the map. Set your feet away. Okay, look on the map. Where the hell are you going? Back. <laughs> oh no! You're on a minecart track, mate. Oh. I am. Let's bend this. <laughs> gonna wind up it. in the lake. No. Oh. Works. Oh, oh yeah. Two hundred feet away. Good luck. Oh. I wasn't really expecting to make it to you. Got like ten percent of our health though. You got that further than I was expecting. Oh, oh. Say I'm so determined. Uh, they're expert bosses, yo. <laughs> Thing has six people's worth of health. Uh, true. I would have basically killed it by myself. Probably. Would concede that opinion. I'm gonna fire bees at her. It does slightly more damage than my uh, laser gun. And oh, so it's extra irony. Irony, quite, quite, sir. Yeah, it's, it's the irony of the uh, bee damage. She's Death, not, babies. She's not immune to bee damage, so. Oh, I see. It's like that. It's like that, is it? Oh, wow. Well, actually, it might. It can fire pretty fast, but it's back in the back. That's it. Just stay there for us to fight. So it's like, a, it's like a bow, but it has no gravity because it's being slimed by the Wow. Oh, wow. And then there's Skeletron. On me. Yeah, she's on me. Almost got it. On me again. Get out of there. There you go. Actually, I could just magic mirror, couldn't I? Which would take me somewhere else within the jungle. <laughs> she did. Well, I actually have one health. Good timing. Yeah. And not poison. Sure. One's a baby yeah. hornet. Oh, 
bee pants. I have the bee shirt. And, and a, the worst version of that sword you could get. What the heck? <laughs> oh, reforge it. <laughs> oh no. So, because I wasn't there when she died, do I get a loot box or not? You should be. Good. Should be yeah. I'll try and work out my way there. I mean, I wasn't either. But if not, I'm, it's, it's not that hard. Ah, another pair of bee pants. Can't believe it. Max, if you go up when you enter the hive, I've dropped off three hearts there for you. Go up, go up, go back, go up, go up, go left. Hearts. Beautiful, thank you. I actually forgot to be well fed and I still only just failed to stay alive all the way through. I got another B shirt, another hive pack, but without a uh, my 1% melee speed. A sluggish the bee sneeze, it does more damage. Oh, does the same damage. Does anybody else want a sluggish the bee sneeze? It's a bow. Nice Take it. The sword. The key to how I live. It's in those potions. Someone's killer bee. Uh, it's not very good damage, though, is it? Well, that's the worst version you can get. <laughs> Supposed to be up around 30 damage. Oh, I've got a bee gun. Hey. You got the bee gun? Oh, that is yeah. awful. Nine magic damage. Bee gun's real good. Put that, no, I was put that thing at, up. I was looking at Adam's. Uh, so yeah, it's really bad. That was awful. Oh, I got bee pants as well. Yeah. I mean, it should be cheap to reforge, but that's terrible. That's, I mean, without couldn't believe it when I saw it. Without um, doing anything else, we can, we can. There are so many more hives. I mean, there's two more hives we've not even looked at that I'm trying. So uh, that will give us something to do for next time. But I need to go to bed because I'm old and tired. That was good. Uh, un unfortunately, I mean, Skeletron comes before the Wall of Flesh, though, doesn't he? Difficulty wise. Yes. Um, and I still he's not that bad as long as you just pick an arm to go for. Everyone go for that arm where you can. To, to be can. honest, the dungeon is worse than Skeletron. Yeah, the dungeon just keeps spawning stuff endlessly at you. Yeah, well, the. And the spikes and just you... the. Uh, you generally do the dungeon before you have the pickaxe we've got. So the dungeon's gonna be pissy. Yeah! Because we can just come from the walls. Yeah, that's true. Um, stop we can get rid of all the weird stuff. Now we're all spawning over the jungle thing. Do we have a bed here to set it back to normal? I, don't know. Or I think I can make one. <coughs> yeah, I can make one. Dead. You get in the room with all these, uh, or, yeah, with the paintings. I mean, if you just need to set your spawn point back to the town, all you have to do is just click on the bed that your spawn point's on again, and it'll unset your spawn point. Oh, right. Oh, it'll remove it? Yep, it'll remove it. Spawn point removed, yeah. I've added a bed here, too. Oh, okay. So we don't need a bed here, then. No, well, we will tomorrow, or next day, next time we, uh... Anyway, I'm just going to sit here on me at the edge of the beat. I'm going to look at this seahorse critter. Has made you the seahorse? Did you put your graveyard? No, keep going left of oh, the uh, port pylon. It's very nice looking on the map, but go see it in person. Ah. Water walking boots. Still has their blowgun equipped. At me. Well, I've got it equipped. I've got it in my inventory. Which I assume is all you need. Yeah, you're still generating seeds, though. Yes, that's why I've got it in my inventory.
Where's the graveyard? The uh, you find the left of the forest pylon. Original corruption. Well, what you call it here is coming to one o'clock in the morning. Um, thank you everyone for coming along. Um, I would like to try and get some dungeon defenders this weekend, as I would like to. Um, we, I think you've probably done it. As we had the jungle, Takiti jungle, that gives the stone thrower. As oh, well. that one. It's it needs. Four yeah. People. It, it's not that hot, but it needs four people. I would also like to it finish can have off. Six. I thought it was four, but okay, that'd be cool. Um, I'd also like yeah. to finish yeah. off um, having a defense on easy survival to level 35, because that will give us a crap cobalt. But a crap cobalt is probably better than the giraffe we've got. <laughs> and the shark. It's a <laughs> lava shark. Quite possibly one of the fastest Heck ones in the yeah. game. From fishing. I fished it up from lava. Thanks. That's, uh, that's it's kind of grim and depressing, um, but gross but very impressive. Is, is a graveyard supposed to be happy, happy, fun time? Well, again, I have stories about that, but I've already I've already done them once. But Brian can tell you at some point about the happy, fun time stories in the graveyard. Yes. Yeah. He's gone quiet. Obviously. Right. I will I will shut it all down there. So. Thank you so much for joining me. Watching a quite a busy chat this evening. Uh, I'll just punch my microphone. Um, and just remember, if there is a game you'd like to see us play, um, let us know in the comments or the chat, and we will take it under consideration. Um, other than that, we'll shut it down. I wish you good night.